Does this still work? Does that penis. still work? That I need to fix. What, your penis? And that's there. Perfect. Hilty's here. Oh, Wisty's here. The boops. the boops still works. The boop still works. Beautiful. Uh, why do I look so... Won't no. No, we're gonna... That's, that's better. Yep. Shouldn't Wisty's booping have caused a thing to happen? No. No, we don't... We, no, I don't have a thing... Oh! Oh, that! Oh! Why did it not... Why didn't it boop? That's what we're asking you. Yeah. I'm gonna... I'm gonna fix this. Hold on. Wisty, that was very good boopins. That was good boopins. I see the boop, but not the... the, the cause of I, the boop. I, Terribly sorry for the technical difficulties, Wisty, oh. but your poop is appreciated. Oh, oh man, I'm I'm having some things and some stuff. Well, it has been a minute. Yeah, it has been a minute. Uh, here, give me a second. I gotta relog back in with the bot account. And... Nope, that's not the one I want. And... Woo, woo, woo. Tom is uh, he's full of chicken and gummies. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's that. Chicka, 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 yep. chicka, chicka, chicka. Okay, and now uh, <laughs> your boop is very important to us. Your boop Please is... hold. Yeah, <laughs> when it will be answered in the order in which it was received. Yes. Uh, Wisty, I don't know that I ever set your sub sound. Let me see if I still have that. In... Because that was like 73 years ago, and I'm I'm way behind on everything. I am Wisty, and I have subscribed to the channel, yay! That's awful. That's it, that's your subset. That's awful. Oh. Wow. Yeah. She pays your salary, bub. Oh my god. I'm not talking about her. I'm talking about you. Alright, let <laughs> me see if I can go. <laughs> Those, that's not even half the robes, buddy. It's it's like it's like seventy percent of the robes. One's in the dryer. Actually, if you see, there's the the centerpiece is missing back here. That means uh, I got one. That's uh, yeah. He's got one in the shop. <clears throat> yeah, I got one in the shop. Yeah, I did. I had to, I had to take it in. It was making a funny noise. <laughs> that's that's true. See, Wisty gets it. Wisty gets it. Uh, okay. Now I'm gonna go do this, and we're going to. Remember when I said that your bot should be robe bot, and you crushed my hopes and dreams? Yeah, I sure do. Dick. I, I, yep, yep. Robe bot, get it? Yeah, I I get it, I get it, I get because it. Because I like robes, but also it's a bot. Yeah, that's I. Yes, but, I. But also, if you say it together real fast, Iceberg needs it, it for like everyday hustling. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I made I made that one work. Uh Wisty, thank you again for that resub for fourteen heckin' months. Thank you. I love you bunches. You know how much I love you. Uh, what did you have today? Sex. Donair garlic fingers? Oh, he'll see. God damn it. Um, What's a Donair garlic, garlic finger? What's Donair? It's a seasoning. I know garlic finger is. Okay, so, oh. so I learned this. Um, strawberry cheesecake pound cake? Holy shit. Holy shit, that sounds good. Um... Hmm. Uh, all right, let's, 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 let's just, let's. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, There's a cake downstairs for me. You're a cake. You're all caked up on a Friday night. And... I just have to wait for the munchies to hit and that son bitch. Oh, there you go. There you go. I'm going to start turning it into poop. Oh, that's, that's, buddy, you're just a poop factory, aren't you, pal? Aren't we all? <gasps> Ooh, Wisty, have fun. Don't get murdered. Murder everybody else, though. 
just don't get murdered. That's basically like the whole thing. Yeah. Murder. Murder. I'm reminded now of the <laughs> Murder. Judy. Judy. Judy clone. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so um, we have stuff to do, talk about. <laughs> we do have. There's so much stuff to talk about. Um, so yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna get into the TwitchCon stuff in a in a minute, but uh, I have cleaned my desk considerably. Um, I have a lot more room, like right here, like in the immediate area. My stream decks were over here. I have moved them over to this side so they're accessible by my right hand versus my left because I am a righty. I'm not one of those sinister fuckers like Lolly. So I actually have my stream decks over here. Now it's a little weird because I want to make sure, you know, the mic arm can sometimes get in the way, but, you know, I'll figure it out. Oh, excuse me. I'll figure it out. Um, let's see. That's my car insurance. That veered. Uh, let's see. A bunch of... And now that if, if I move all of these napkins out of the way... A bunch of napkins and one paper towel. Um, what is this? Ooh, this is a little right angle uh, headphone jack adapter thingy. It's fun. Love those. Mm -hmm. Yep, 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 yep. And then... Uh, we're going to come over here. Over here, over here. Perfect. Oh, and my foot is scrubby thingy. That can go over here as well. That's, that's going to go out of the room. All right. So now I have this area on my desk, like, that is mostly... Here, jingle, jingle? Well, no. I mean, I don't think she'll get on the desk. I don't know that she's... I don't know that she's a desk kitty, uh, as it were. But I do, I have all this room on my desk, so, um, <clears throat> I spent a lot of time with the, uh, with the crafty folks at TwitchCon. Um, uh, mostly Nine and Karen, um, but just in general, because I learned, you know, I met a bunch of folks, um, through them. Um, so... They have been trying to con convince me to do crafty stuff for a while now. Uh, and I'm considering, and I have been thinking about this for a long time, but I'm considering... Well, Tom, what, other than yelling at video games, what, what other pastime does Zam like to stream? Uh, well, birds. masturbation. Oh, my. Not, no, that's, that's on, on Twitch, not on, not on only Zams. What's, oh, oh uh, he anime just, titties. He's a hot tub that's that's background. yelling at he's that's good. that's yelling at video games. No, he's not yelling at them. Oh, he, he no, loves them. No, he still yells at them. Ha, hidden. He does. He does enjoy a knitting. He does enjoy a crochet. Oh, he's a crotcheter. He's a crotcheter. Yeah. So, uh, so the crafty people are trying to get me to start doing crafty things because they're a bunch of fiber artists that I know and hang out with and shit like that. Again, we know we know like nine. It does of, run in your blood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And of course, Bean has her crochet stuff, so I could just go grab one of cro her crochet hooks and just go to town if I really wanted to. Um, then you could be a hooker. I could be a hooker. That's true. That's true. I could be a a. <gasps> I could actually, actually. You could put the hat on and be a pirate hooker. And if I don't shower that day, I could be a dirty pirate hooker. So there you have smelly it. Smelly pirate hooker. I could be. Well, I I never smell. I actually I well I guess unless I fart. If I fart, then I would be smelly. But I. Uh, I well, technically, the fart would be smelly. It wouldn't be. Well, yeah, but I made it. I made it, so it's my fart. So it's my smelly. It's my yeah, smelly, and I need it now. <laughs> Like it's seven smell now. <laughs> no longer, a, no longer a part of you. Like bo on the other hand. <laughs> well, I guess that's fair. I never have bo though. I'm I always smell very nice. It's... You ever have b Arthur? Oh man, every night, <laughs> every single night I have b Arthur. It's because we watch the Golden Girls in bed. You see. Um. Anyway, anyway. Uh, I'm just gonna segue to that sponsor. That's fantastic. Hey, hey, I, good job past me. I put a bookmark in here. Splendid. These are always just 
gems. I, I love this because I know exactly what's going to happen as soon as Tom starts reading one. Ah, and now, some wisdom from the girls. From the section, always be honest, even if it hurts. Dorothy. Okay, girls, which goes better, the silver chain or the pearls? Rose, the chain. Blanche, an amateur's mistake. Can't you see that the chain accentuates the many folds under that turkey-like neck? Rose, well, that may be. But the pearls draw attention to the non-existent bosom. <laughs> Blanche, yes, but the chain leads the eye even lower to that huge spare tire jutting out over those square manly hips. Dorothy, why don't I just wear a sign that says too ugly to live? Blanche, fine, but what are you going to hang it from, the chain or the pearls? Dorothy, neither. I'm going to spray paint it on my hump. <laughs> and this has been the wisdom of the girls. Oh, Thank you for being a friend. Fantastic. fan fucking tastic. Well, well done. I just, just, you know, that's great. That's great. Thank you, Tom. Thank you very, very much. There we go. I wasn't sure I was going to make it through that one. No, that's, yeah, that's... That's one of those ones that just builds. It just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then, like, for those of us like you and me who, who know what all of these scenes are, like, you can... We're watching the scene in our heads as you're quoting it, so we know exactly what's happening. It's just... Mwah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Well we done. See the facial expressions. Thank you, Lolly. That's that was excellent. That was just could not have been timed better. Thanks, pal. You're uh, welcome. Uh, so your <clears throat> job here is done. You're, <laughs> but you didn't do anything. <laughs> 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 do I have something on my arm? Oh no, that's a scratch. Uh, yeah, it's your, your arm. Oh. Your wrist and your hand. Oh, no, that's not on my arm. That's attached to my arm. Well, it's on. It's on the end of your arm. Well, that's that. Okay, that's that part is true. Um, so Which last time I checked, it's part of your arm. I don't know. I don't know. Um, so yeah. So I cleaned off the desk. Um, can I do? Where's my zoomy zoomies? Can I do a zoomy out? I don't know if I can zoomy out. Uh, let's go here. Bears got zoomies. I do have zoomies. What's it like? Oh, you can't really see anything from there. It's just the usual shit. Right. Are, they, are they poop zoomies? No, they're not poop zoomies. Loaf gets the poop zoomies. Holy but Jesus, she gets the poop zoomies. She goes. Get the opposite. Oh, you don't. You don't. You get the poop not zoomies. It gets the poop yeah, nappies. Like, yeah, oh. I'm like, man, that was a lot of work. I'm done. Oh, oh then need, you just. I need a I need a break. <laughs> Tom just Tom walks out of the shitter like, whoo, and wipes the sweat off, and then goes and takes a nice big old sit in the chair in the the recliner. He he logs the uh, <laughs> logs. exercise from that. He logs the exercise. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I missed this. I missed well, you, you know, dinguses. I, I think you should craft if crafting interests you. I'm I'm well, thinking know, about yesterday. it. I'm thinking about ain't it. No, ain't no shame in crafting a craft. Um, oh, the first thing you should do is you should crotch it as Zowzette. That's... You're... You have a lot of faith in my ability to do a, a 3D crochet project my first time out, pal. Yeah, you'll figure you it out. anything about 3D? I, yeah, make it 2D. I would say the only thing that would need to be 3D is the titties. Mm -hmm. Again, that's just two balls of yarn. You can glue them. That's, that's no. If I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it right. I'm not gonna half-ass it. I'm not gonna phone it in. Oh, you should do this like every six months. You should make another Zowzette to see ch see how your progress is Jesus is going. Christ. Like we'll use that as the as the litmus test for your growth. <sighs> this is this is why. We this is why we can't have nice things. Is because of <laughs> like, is because it. you the whole you, idea is off now. Forget you, it. You two, you two <laughs> fucking knuckleheads is exactly why I can't have nice things. <sighs> um, Didn't you just say you missed this? Yeah, I, I immediately regret that. 
Like you, you also Just... had a nice thing yesterday, and I was directly involved with that, sir. Well, okay, oh, that's. <laughs> I did, I did, I did, yes. I, yes, I did insinuate that yesterday too. <laughs> I did, I did, I did, uh, hi, Pingu, Pingu, I love you. Mwah. Um, in Whoa. fairness, I did, I did eat a lot of meat yesterday, thanks to Lolly. I mean, it's a day ending in Y, so yes. Well, yeah, but lo like Lolly and I had a lot of meat together. In fact, at one point he had trouble swallowing, so that was, that was a fun time. Um, but he, he managed, he managed, he almost had to spit, but he did end up swallowing. So good for him. Ice bear needs it for everyday you hustling. Just, oh look, man, my. we've been over this. You just have to relax the throat. <laughs> True. Pingu, Pingu, thank you for 11 months. I love you bunches. So, so much. Hey, I also have to consume smaller bits because not all of us are size queens. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, I guess get good. That's... That's it. Just get good. Nah. Nah. Just nah. De de oh. Decline. Decline. De <laughs> now. Denied. Now he suddenly has complaints. Denied. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hiltzy, Hiltzy wanted... So there was there was a Bowsette at the con. This will actually be the first thing that I show. Because um, there's, uh, there's, there's so much stuff. And I'm still trying to collect all the photos. Um... I'm sorry, that won't be... That will be the second thing that I show. Uh-oh. Is there loaf content? No, there's not loaf content, no. I think I think we all need to revisit this. For those of you who aren't in the Discord, uh, I present to you Draw Me Like One of Your French Hiltzies. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that, I had nightmares for a week. That's... I slept with that all weekend. I just want to put that out there. I want to get yourself tested. Yeah. Oh boy, boy, howdy! You're not kidding. Anyway, that's uh, that was <laughs> that that was my roomie. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I have I have one of those uh, one of those there stickers, Hilty. It's true. It's true. We got as soon as we got into the room, Hilty gave me his meat. It was great. It was, it was, well, I, it certainly I've, does look insatiable. I, I've never had Canadian meat before, but I gotta say it was pretty damn delicious. Pingu, thank you for the lurk. I love you bunches. Um, was it really though? Was it like Canadian jerky or something? Uh, no, it was, uh, it was almost like a, like a, like a meat stick, almost like a Slim Jim, but like a little more to like it, a, you know? Like meat bar? Kind of like meat bar. Yeah. Kind of like meat bar. <laughs> yeah. Don Air meat, yes. So, Hilti can probably explain this better than I can, but Don Air is a seasoning um, that's from uh, the Mediterranean. So, um, it's got like the full dish has like the meat. It's cooked on a spit. Like think of like think of it like a version of a hero, right? Um, so they, they cook it on a spit, they serve it in a pita, you know, blah, 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 that whole thing. But the seasoning's a little different and the sauce is different. And like you find with a lot of, you know, uh, sauces like that there, everybody has their own different version, but this is actually a manufactured beef stick. Um, but, uh, it's, it's got the seasoning in it. He also gave me some seasoning, uh, that, uh, I brought home that I'm going to use to, I'm probably going to end up uh, seasoning a steak with. So looking forward to that. Sauce is basically condensed milk and vinegar. Yeah. Which is Tom is Tom is all kinds of nope about. Oh, I've already stopped listening. Yeah. But the, the meat itself is very, very, very good. Um, and again, the seasoning is very much like, like hero meat. Um, so, it's a hero. the <laughs> God damn it. Um, <laughs> Welcome to my hell. Yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. So that was a lot of, that was delicious. Um, and I did, I kept my word aside from bean who, you know, bean always gets first dibs. Uh, Hiltzy, I saved my stickers, even though I met several people on the journey. Uh, Hiltzy got the very first not bean 
uh, sticker, special sticker. First one goes to the owl. First one goes to the owl. Means the owl. Um, this very specific scenario. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, so yeah, that was so. I I honestly uh ooh nice Hiltzy. So I honestly like I I got I chewed through most of those stickers like I probably gave out close to 200. Oh, well, there's your problem. You oh, is that what it is? <laughs> Gingers for days, welcome in. Hey, hey, look at that. That's awesome. Oh. Welcome in. Um yeah, like I haven't gone through I haven't gone through everything yet. Um, I I still have to go through all of my stuff and like unpack everything because this is my first stream back. So um, I'm just waiting for uh, I'm I'm waiting for <sighs> a bus. Probably a bus. Uh, no, it, probably Monday. I I might get it sometime tomorrow. I don't know because I might go see the wee toddler niece tomorrow. Um, oh but she's 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 like all two and stuff now like it's Ugh. listen no it got it gets worse uh i got a we got a picture from sydney i think today either yesterday or today and this kid has like a little backpack on she looks like she's about to go to fucking kindergarten uh she's two so our you know our souls were shattered um my eldest sib kid just like you're to, back mm, yeah, yeah pretty my much sib kid went to homecoming a couple of weeks ago nope don't like that that kid is not old enough for that they are not old enough homecoming. for that i remember them in a in a little little pink walker car they were one god uh six months old and already eating solids holy shit that's amazing pingu Vivian, Vivian, buddy, do I miss you? Um, so yeah, um, I did start unpacking. I actually, I actually have all of my uh, clothes in the dryer, so laundry's done. Uh, aside Why from aren't you naked? Um, mostly because Check toss. Me. Also, I mean, I didn't take my my go tail shirt, uh, but I am wearing my game on to end lupus shirt. Um, I did see, uh, like a bunch of those folks there, which was great. We actually had a little meetup there. Um, the Loops Foundation of America had a booth on the floor. Um, Hiltzy got a pin from them. I also got a pin. Um, they had a meetup for all of us that, uh, are part of that community. Um, especially the ones that were involved with the fundraiser earlier this year, like we were. Uh, so I hung out with them for a while. Um, I saw D a couple of times and I kept running into Coco, which was really funny. But it was that was great. Um, holy shit! Holy shit! Yeah, I just thought of an awesome name for next year's fundraiser. Go on. Tootalupus. So anyway, um, <laughs> because we want because we want it to go away. Yes, I, I yes I I yes I understand. So like yeah. Tootaloo is like something you can say when someone leaves. It's like a farewell greeting. Yeah, and yeah, then, and then lupus. is yeah. terrible. Yeah, terrible yeah. affliction. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then if I combine them, uh, it uh -huh. makes like a humor, but uh -huh. also gets the point across. It's like, yeah. Get out of here, you crazy wild character! You, we don't like you. Yeah. Ooh, you. That's. I mean, that's that's fair. That's fair. Um. No, no Pingu. Don't quite get it. Can you start from the beginning? <laughs> okay. Oh, so Christ. imagine if you. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway. These fucking these fucking dipshits. God. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Pingu don't listen. You know, he's going to do it anyway. That's, the, that's just the way he is. You're going to go, I'm just, go, go, I'm just going to go back to, yeah, that's, Viv, that's probably that's, the best idea. I love you, buddy. Necessary. You. Take me with you. <laughs> is it ne necessary? Is it necessary to drink my own pee? Oh my God. Of course not, but it's sterile and I like the taste. <laughs> Christ. Anyway. I have a Do you remember precisely when you said you missed this? No, I don't think I did. Yeah, so, I think what you're missing here, Fritz, is it gets funnier to me 
<laughs> and that's literally the only person I care if it gets funnier to. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, this is why I can't have nice things. These, anyway, carry on with your story. These idiots are why I can't have nice things. Anyway, so I kept running into a bunch of people, but um so yeah, first TwitchCon. Um loved it and uh Pingu, I hope everything goes well. Speed run any percent. Done. World record. Uh, <laughs> um so so Hilsey and I get there on Thursday. Actually, he got there on Wednesday and stayed at a different hotel for the night. Um, so he got to hang out a little early and, uh, Hiltzy walked, I don't know, um, 7 million kilometers. I'm not sure the conversion rate. Uh, so, okay. I love you. Bye. 28,000 steps on Thursday. Yeah. I, I did, I did plus 20 K every day that I was there. It was just ridiculous. Um, so Thursday I get in, uh, we go and we uh, end up in, we, we finally go to get our uh, badges um, and we make it in just under the wire, man. Like we get, they closed down, they were closing down badge pickup on Thursday night at eight. We made it to the front of the line at no, no lie, like 758. So we made it just under the wire. Picturing uh, like Hiltzy doing an action dive underneath a closing gate. That's pretty much exactly <laughs> what happened. Yeah. Yeah. And then I just kind of tucked and rolled. That's, you know, what I did. 70 kilometers or 44 miles. Yeah. I did, I did over 20 miles uh, for the weekend. I know that much. Um, did you walk 500 miles? No. I would also not walk 500 more. But, you know. Upsetting. Yeah. I would. Da da da. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. It's uh it's like it's like catnip. Anyway, uh so listen, I have my I have my bag, uh, my TwitchCon goodie bag. Look, it says TwitchCon on it. Look at that. Isn't that a th isn't that That's how you, that's how you know where it's from. That's it's true. It's true. That's how uh I remember. Um so I want to go I want to go through like basically everything in the bag cuz there's so much good stuff in here. Uh, first of all, <gasps> Swag unboxing? Well, not unboxing, but, you know. Uh, so, first of all, before I go through the bag, um, I did want to show, Tom, specifically want to show this to you, and I'm sorry they okay. had it. Reverse! Oh my god, your face has disappeared. God damn Pause it. Back. Your your object permanent's not doing real well right now, is it, buddy? <laughs> oh, I thought we were playing Peekaboo. Oh, I see, I see. No, Zam, Zam is playing Peekaboo. Uh, oh. We got an ad break coming up in about three minutes. Um, I can I can say that now because I've got the chat stuff that's actually showing up. They're making some changes and improvements to that, which I'm really looking forward to. Actually, uh, mods will be able to see when ad breaks are coming and are playing. So that's pretty cool. That's a thing that's rolling out like, either now or oh. soon, TM. Um, um, so the what is our ability to put your BRB screen up coming? Um... No. So, uh, wow. Yeah. So seven days to die had a big booth on the show floor. Um, and they had a bunch of swag and I know Tom was telling me that they have a like dead by daylight clone that they're working on. Would you say it was like seven days blood moon is what it's called? Something like that. Something like that. Reverse. Uh, but yeah, they just, they, Reverse. they dropped the, uh, to die part for, for this. So this is my this is my seven days to die T-shirt that I got, mm -hmm. which is really cool, very fun, very very neat stuff. Cool. Oh yeah, that's a really good shirt. Yeah. And they uh, they actually had it in fat guy size, so I'm pretty excited about that too. So I got a four X. Unfortunately, that's the highest that they had when I found out about them. So um, couldn't grab one for Tom, but I'm I'm, eh, I'm what can you do? I'm with you. I'm still impressed that they had like fat guy size like i love that oh yeah hilsey got a seven days lanyard yep 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 that's yep that's right zam fat guy Good. size Good stuff. i had breakfast with zam nice i had breakfast with zam on saturday yeah you know who else i had breakfast with then on that fateful morning the person okay. that gave me this ball our our very very dear friend 9.5 um, ah, 
I was like, I have no idea who the fuck gave you that. Book. Here, well, um, we're gonna we're gonna just we're just gonna start this off. So we're just gonna like do this in sequence. Um, so shout out to Hiltzy, um, my roomie for the weekend, and just fucking fucking made that trip, man. Like trip was great. Would not have been nearly as good without Hiltzy. Just spectacular, spot on. Oh, hey, look, there's a button for me to push. Reverse. Reverse. I apparently wasn't following Hitsy, Hiltzy, so that's been remedied now. Thank Why you. Why were you not following? Wow. Not fucking no. That's my son. That's my son, Lolly. Well, raid him at some point, and I'll follow him. Well, well he's actually, I already followed him, but raid him, and I will. Well, well, he has to stream for that. He has to, well, he's he's gotten back on. He's been streaming. He's he's streamed since he got back. He streamed since he got back. He was streaming yesterday. And then Shrimped. I've been yelling at him for days to just go to bed now. This is what I do. I just yell at him to go to bed. Um, but anyway, uh, this is from ni our dear friend 9.5. Um, she had a few of these Pokeballs that she made before the con. She was saving for a few folks. So I got one of them. I got one of the first ones. So, you know, I'm very special. I got my little crochet Pokeball. Um, and of course, to try to catch them all. Well, that's eventually, yes. What I would like to do if I start doing crochet is I would like to make these myself. And I would like to yeah, make... 3D. And I just, I just said the first time out. I said the first time out, I'm not going to be able to do it. Eventually. <laughs> that's, that's the eventually part. Um, but I would like to have like one of every different type of Pokeball you know, all 73 or whatever the fuck we have now, because they keep adding more to this goddamn universe. Um, you know what they call that? Content. Well, that's, that's content. Yes, that is in fact content. Um, oh man, I can't wait till you're doing the great ball. There's a lot of jokes in there. Oh my God. We're in an ad break. Um, <laughs> just gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna sit here with my Pam hand puppet and my dolphin hand puppet. And yeah, buy ass cream or whatever they're advertising. Whatever, yeah, yep. whatever. Um, but yeah, so honestly, it's probably much weirder. <laughs> yeah. There. Because you're not getting an ad right now for this. Mm. In fairness, get that get on that turbo so you don't get those ads if you can. Yeah, turbo's amazing. And learn that not everyone gets the ad sometimes. Yeah, I haven't seen an ad on Twitch in like over a year because I've had turbo. So love turbo. If you can manage it, get turbo. It's great. Um, and apparently the creators still get paid for as if you were watching ads. That's so. yes, that's correct. Uh, the the streamers still get the ad revenue that they would have gotten um, had someone with Turbo actually seen the ads, which is pretty fantastic. Because when I first did Turbo, I was starting to I was feeling a little guilty about it. Yeah. Like, all right, I'm kind of fucking these people over. But then I found out that I'm not was yeah. like, more turbo. Give me eight or nine subscriptions. Yeah. Yeah. Give me every turbo that you have. <laughs> uh. Hey, what are you doing in there? Pooping. What are you doing in there? Estoy pooping. Huh? Estoy pooping. She's not pooping. God. <laughs> Tom keeps yelling at Estoy pooping. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Give Kitty a pet. Oh, it's because it's very cozy in there. She likes to be a cozy cat. Uh, no, Zam, they do not have. Turbo is a one size fits all. Oh, I'd De never fall for that. Depending on your country. So, one size fits most Canadians, in your case. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I got this from 9.5. Uh, love this, and this is great. Bean, can I use your crochet hook sometime? Okay. I love that he talked about doing crochet streams and he I'm hadn't even talked to her yet. I should crochet. And he's literally he asking for I, them yeah, now. I, I want yeah. like a set. after already talking about it. Yeah, that's great. That's a kitty. So, tell her you want the hooks 
for butt stuff. Lo loaf wow. is loaf is currently inside a suitcase in our bedroom. Bean has taken a suitcase <laughs> out of the closet, and loaf has 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 promptly gotten into the suitcase. For the suitcase oh. is just a box for clothes for travel. You see, um, she fits. She she um, does fits, and that therefore she so, sits. Yep. Yeah, that's yep. that's just that's just science and cat law simultaneously. If it fits, it sits. Yes. Okay, so cashmere feel. Okay, we're I'm not. We're just we're just gonna keep rolling, and this is the next one. Uh, so cashmere feline. We had this weird thing that kept happening to me and Hiltzy. Um It was like, I, by my count, there were four instances, and Hiltzy, keep me honest, but I'm pretty sure it was at least four, potentially more, but four that I noticed. Um. So it was at least in line um, uh, at badge. Uh, Cash, were you in, were you in line for badge pickup on Thursday night? I'm pretty sure you were like near the end of, okay. So Thursday night, right before closing. Okay. So Thursday night at badge pickup and then three separate times while waiting for the monorail, either coming or going, I don't remember what, but I kept seeing her and like, she's, she's got like a, like a little backpack and her phone's rigged up to it. You know, it's, it's really nice. And so she's doing little live streams, um, between like, you know, badge pickup and, and getting on the monorail, which by the way, the Vegas monorail, pretty nice, pretty fantastic. Jankiest live streams. Listen, you did what you could considering all of the shit that was going on around it. Right. Um, monorail. Mon <laughs> me, me and Zayab kept doing that. <laughs> Zayab would go monorail. I'd go monorail. We were going back and forth, and Nine would look at us and be like, "What the fuck are you guys doing?" I'm like, "It's a Simpsons monorail. bit." Monorail. monorail. Yeah, Zayab monorail. would just keep saying monorail. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we kept following. Still all correct and <laughs> monorail. It's, it's so fun spoken. to say. It's just fun to do. Uh, so, so Zayab and I. Uh, I mean, uh, Hiltzy and I kept running into cash while like her and a couple of friends were hanging out and she kept doing live streams, just walking around. Cause she had like a little, a little rig for it and everything. And so like by the fourth one, I'm like, okay, I have to say something like I have to go up because this is just, this is just, this is supposed to, this is supposed to happen. I don't know. I can't. Uh, so anyway, so I told Hilsey, I'm like, all right, I gotta go say something. All right. So I go introduce myself and give a sticker, you know, one of. One of the lovely sparkly majigs, and so I, uh, uh, I like we were talking, and so it was great. Um, there's your phone plugged in power pack that was in the backpack. Yeah, but you had it, you had it, and it, it was really nice. Um, and eighty dollars for the damn con Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah, they wanted fucking eighty dollars for the Wi-Fi at the convention center. Like the convention center wanted that, and we were like, fuck that, absolutely not. Stuff in the event tome. Nice, Wisty. Wisty, I hope you. I hope everyone died. I hope you murdered everyone. In the video game. In the video game. Video game. Oh, the price of one. Yeah, f you're not fucking kidding, though, Sam. That's actually pretty fucking accurate. Vegas is expensive. Um, or one Uber or Lyft in Vegas. That's also or one bottle of water. No, we got like three bottles of water for eighty dollars at dinner on Thursday night. All right. You know, we got three. Literally, they were like fucking twelve dollars. Yeah, our fucking steak dinner. I'll get to that one. Um, the only hooker hit people oh. and damage. Oh well, there you go. What a value! I mean, what a savings! <laughs> Sixty eighty dollars per day for the wheelchair too. Jesus Christ! Fuck. That's uh, yeah. Vegas is too goddamn expensive. No one needed to die, die. Okay, well, that's fair. That's fair. Hey, at least you got your stuff. That's good. Um, anyway, so, um, yeah, so badge pickup Thursday night. It's the first time that we saw Cashmere Feline. Um, and that was, I'm like, yep, this has got to happen. So as it turns out, um, so Hiltzy's in, Hiltzy's in her stream last night. And uh, I'm... Like, I see that she followed me. I'm like, oh, that's cool. And so I go and I follow her back and I pop in. And right before I pop in, Hilsey sends me a screenshot. 
and and I'm looking in chat, and who is in chat with Hilti in Kashmir's stream, but our very good friend Tani. Tani's there. They're there. And so I'm like, holy shit, Tani's here. Um, so um, for those of you who don't know, um, our good friend Tani Wa, um, I know them through our, our very good friend Nova. Um, that's who we're raising money for Trans Lifeline in memory of is our friend Chris Nova. Um, so when I like, I like Hilti's like, oh my God, look, look at chat. And I'm like, holy shit, it's that's my Tani. Um, so yeah, I'm like, I'm like, done. Like, I told Tani, I'm like, listen, if you're here, that's plenty of good enough endorsement for me. Uh, so that was really cool. I love Tawny. They are just the best. They are fan fucking tastic. Holy crap. I love that kid. Um, so yeah, so Thursday night we get the badge pickup just under the wire. It's great. We head back. Uh, where's my badge? I ate it. Pal, I asked you specifically not to eat the badge. It tasted like gambling. That's why I <laughs> This is why I took you to the meat fountain last night, so you wouldn't eat the badge. Okay, but I saved room for it. How did you save room for it? You ate so much last night. I didn't eat all of the cake. <sighs> well, that's because you gave Elena the cake. I guess. That's because you got that's all that cake. I didn't eat all the cake. I saved room for the badge. Anyway, this is my badge. Look, it has my name on it. It has my name on it, and the QR code is just a tracking thing. And look, it says I'm an affiliate, and it also has the thing... For the party, because I paid for the party. Mine doesn't say partner like Zams does. They make it for partners. No, no partners did not get a partners did not get a badge. No, no partner, no badge for partners. Badge tastes like lost wages at Brooklyn. That's because dreams. that's because partners got members only jackets. Yeah, that's that's true. They they do. Yeah, they actually had their own special lounge that you couldn't go into. Actually, you could go in if a partner escorted you to the partner lounge. You could go in there with them as a guest. And I don't know if you they even did. Else. I don't know. You could wait outside. <laughs> yeah, everybody they actually. Had to hold your hand, or there was a little playpen for you to be in. <laughs> they wouldn't let you. I know a couple of people that actually made it in with a partner, so it may have been de like dependent on where you were, like who you were going in with, or like, ooh. So someone must have gotten into that they weren't supposed to. <laughs> Conspiracy. Um. Yeah. No. Like in it depended on the guards. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured. They like triple the guards. Ugh, that sounds about right. Harumph. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that guy didn't harumph. Better watch your ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, no, like the partner lounge was on the third floor of the convention center. You couldn't go to the third floor if you weren't partner or staff. Could not go. Yeah, yeah, the security thing was like, really weird and very subjective. It was really, really fucking weird. Um, so yeah, partner, partner stuff was like, th no. Yeah. Okay. So no bag checking did not check bags. Like Hilti came in with his backpack. Now it was and his, his, he had a little backpack cause they, it was like weird subjective, just like the Twitch mods. I mean, they are weird. Uh, That's subjective. You got flagged the other two days. Um, but yeah, so like Hilti had his backpack and the first day it was fine. The first day it was fine. Like they just, they saw that it was of size because you couldn't have anything that was bigger than like 12 by 12 by 6. Um, the scanner, if it goes off and then they will check it. Yeah, yeah. But they had metal detectors and everything. So we went in, nothing happened. Everything was fine. I had this little like... Um, like an index card case that Bean gave me that I kept my, it was, it actually ended up being the perfect size because like, um, my stickers are three by three. So like three by five index card, I put the stickers on one side. Um, I had this little, like, um, just a little, um, USB battery pack, uh, tiny thing that Bean let me borrow too. that was in there. And so like I was, as I was handing out stickers and trading for stuff, um, I would like put stuff in there. <gasps> Zorilda, ha Zorilda, Zorda, I love you. 
I, I love you and I'm glad you're safe. I love you. Um, you brought your metal water bottle and it didn't get checked. You get checked for the bag when you didn't have a, wait, what? Zam, okay, this is, I got a TSA story for later. Yeah, I got, I got violated <laughs> by the fucking federal government. Go figure. Uh, I hope so too, season. Zorda. I hope so. Um, so, so yeah, like the, the entrance stuff, it was like all this, all the security stuff was just very subjective and just like, I don't know, weird, but I was fine. Cause like I, this little case that I had was plastic and you know, I had like, there was no significant metal in it. Cause it was just like the USB cable and like batteries and stuff. Um, so that was fine. But yeah, so this is my badge and I got, I have so many pins. I got so many pins on this, this thing. Look at that flare. Yeah. Look at all my flare. I got so much flare. It's great. Uh, I got pins and I got keychains, and I got friendship bracelets. Like I got all kinds of shit. I didn't even get French. I don't think these were the ones that were made at the con either. Like these are ones that people made on like before the con. Um, they actually had a friendship bracelet thing that you could go do. Uh, it was pretty fantastic, but they had some official buttons. So they had like, um, they had some gender buttons and they actually had several different sets, uh, which is nice. Um, and then they had like different role things. So they had like developer gamer, they had mod artist lurker. Um, and I think one or two others, um, look at we're going to Josh keys. I hate this job. I hate this stupid job and I don't need it. Uh, my bracelet says I got the one that says caring. I don't, I don't know if you can really read it, but mine says caring, which is just wonderful. Um, yeah, that one was, it's true. Gingers for days actually made that. So on Sunday, uh, I ended up, I, cause like there were, there were a few things that I wanted to go to, but there were a couple things that were like, I had to be at. And one of them was the trans community and ally meetup, um, at, uh, on Sunday, which one love that they had one love that they had that just fantastic. But two, um, I'm in there and like, you know, I'm just kind of sitting in the back and doing my, like my, like observational extrovert thing where like, I'm watching people come in and out, which is just, you know, and so, um, uh, this one person, they came in and they came and sat with me and, uh, we talked for a while and, um, they were like really nervous to show up and, um, but they're like, yeah, I saw you come in and you know, you were, you look really friendly. I'm like, what? try and, you know, try to be friendly except to these two, but in fairness, they smell funny. Um, but, uh, I, I came in and, and wow. was just talking to a few folks and handing out stickers and stuff and. Um, so I was sitting in the back and they came and talked to me and, um, ended up staying for a while. And, um, so that's, that was really cool. And then I saw over on the other side of me over to my left, um, near like the middle of the room. Cause they had like this one big room and they had it separated down the middle with like, um, those like, what do you call those things that they have where they, that they put in lines and stuff that like the little poles with the little little strappy dues, you know, to, to like form lines and shit. You know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, the poles with strappy dues. That's yeah. what I call them. Okay. Barriers. Sure. That oh, works. Oh, the strappy poles. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. 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 Those things. Yes. The strappy dues. So anyway, they had this one room, this one big room separated in two so they could have two different community meetup spots. Um, stanchions. See, Zorda knows everything. She knows everything. She knows all kinds of stuff. Um, so the other meetup was at that time slot. I want to say, I want to say that was like when they were doing the, yeah, I think it was the, the, the grand theft auto community meetup. I think that's what that was. Um, but like, so near the middle of the room by the barriers, um, I see someone come and sit down and they just dump this whole pile and there's just friendship bracelets everywhere. And it's gingers for days. Um, and so like you, like I went up and there are like bracelets of everything. It's phenomenal. Well, that's because Zorda y'all are, y'all are a lot smarter up there than we are down here in Florida. 
in fairness, your education system isn't being destroyed by the day. Anyway, um, Zam, I already used that joke earlier this week. You can't use it. I already claimed it. Sorry. I'm not even sorry, but you still can't use it. Um, your table of stuff made like a hundred. Yeah. Like there's just this pile of friendship bracelets. They're amazing. They're beautiful. And so there were a couple that like, um, uh, were, you know, there are a couple that were really funny, but, uh, like there was one, I almost grabbed one for Hiltzy because he was wearing his Dilf hat all weekend, his damn, I love frogs hat. And so there was actually a Dilf bracelet and I almost grabbed that for Hiltzy, but I didn't, and I probably should have, but yeah, I got this one that says caring and I love this so much. So I, I immediately put it on my, uh, on my badge so I could have it here. Um, so that was fun. So let's just. Let's do this. Let's we're gonna we're gonna keep it going. And shout out gingers for days. Gingers, thank you again for the friendship bracelet. It's absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. Um so yeah, so then I got um uh, Yay, more buttons to push. More buttons to push. Lolly likes pushing buttons. I'm gonna give him several buttons to push. So I spent a lot of my time in the uh, the charity corner. So when you walk in the convention center, you walk in and there's like the big, like big foyer area where I yelled uh, several times uh, at Zam about how much I love him and embarrassed him in front of several million people, which was just great. Uh, and then um, they had off to the right hand side was the expo hall, like the entire, like going all the way back was just the expo hall. And so, um, in the front of the expo hall, like, con like related, uh, relative to the building, the front of the expo hall was to the charity corner. Uh, so like donor drive had like a big thing there that they had a bunch of different charities at, um, uh, the uh, American heart association and, uh, make a wish had some decent sized booths there. And then they had a couple of Rosa stuff. Uh, including uh, the first one that I stopped off at, of course, because we're still doing our Trans Lifeline fundraiser. Uh, I went and got a Trans Lifeline pin, which this is really cool. Like, it's a it's a clear acrylic pin. Like, it's this is just really nice. It's it's such nice quality. Like, folks at other booths were talking about how nice these pins are. So I got one of those. Um, of course, I went to the Lupus Foundation of America booth and got me uh, a Gotel, which is just really nice. Um, no, no, didn't have to buy it. Hidden. Nope. They were just giving them out. They were all just giving them out. Um, yeah. And I, I this, my other, so you notice I had two pronoun pins. <laughs> this is the one that Twitch was giving out. And this is the one that I got from the, uh, the trans lifeline booth. Um, yeah, I know Hilti. It's on my list. It's on my list. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, did I not take the, I didn't take the plastic off of this either. I got to take that off of this one. Hold on a second. I'm going to take... Don't mind me. I'm just peeling... Hey, uh, hey. A Blue Sky post while you peel. You know what? Couldn't think of jock itch, so I said athlete's crotch. Jesus Christ. <laughs> God damn it. Um, and then uh, one of the booths where I spent a lot of time over the weekend uh, was the Starlight Children's Foundation booth. Um, so... Um... Let's, let's kind of go through them in order. So Trans Lifeline, you know, we are raising money for Trans Lifeline right now. We are at just under $4,300 of our $5,000 goal, which I want to try to hit uh, by end of November. I know I'm going to be out again next week for a few days because uh, we're taking some time off for Bean's birthday. Um, but I want to try to hit $5,000 by, uh, by the end of November. Um so for those of you who don't know, uh, Trans Lifeline, let me get a, there we go. Um, they are a nonprofit uh, that is staffed uh, and run by and for trans and non-binary people um, to provide them a support network. They have financial assistance programs for things like name changes and things like that. So um, that was a cause that was very near and dear to our friend, Chris Nova. And so we're we are raising money in her memory uh, for Trans Lifeline. So 
Um, if you can give, please consider doing so. We're doing it right here on Twitch. So uh, if you can, uh, nope, that's, there we go. Um, Dante? Nope, never happened. Cash, thank you for that $15 to Trans Lifeline. Thank you so very much. Um, we're now at forty two seventy four in twenty cents. Uh, so, um, yeah, Trans Lifeline is is a fantastic cause, and we've done a fundraiser for them before. So, uh, love that, love that so much. Uh, actually, I want to see real quick and see where we are, like how much we've raised, because I don't think we've ever looked at a cumulative total of what we've done for them. Um, but yeah, I talked to, um, Steph, one of the people working at the booth there. Uh, I talked to her and, uh, she told me to email her once, you know, I got back and settled and everything. So that's on my list of things to do this weekend. Um, but anybody who like had a fundraiser and they raised $150 or more during the month of October, um, gets a t-shirt. So I'm like, fuck yeah, we've, we've blown that out of the water. Like we're over $4,000. Um, so I want to look at that. We have so far for trans lifeline raised $6,285 and 20 cents, uh, between this and our campaign that we did back in March, uh, of this year. Uh, so that's absolutely incredible. Um, thank you all again so much for all the support for such a wonderful, wonderful cause. Um, it's just out fucking standing. Um, so then, yeah, um, we did, we also did a fundraiser earlier this year, back in May, a little more low key for trans or for, um, game on in lupus, uh, the campaign that the lupus foundation of America runs, um, for those of you who have been around here, you know, we have some dear friends of this channel, eight bit D, uh, L bell and Coco confession who are, they are the ones that, um, run this event. Um, I mean, they get a lot of great support from the organization and they work really closely with them, but as far as like boots on the ground folks, the three of them are the ones that really like drive that event. Um, and let me go see, let me go see what are, cause I know it's on tiltify. Um, I want to go see what this year was cause this year was. I think over a hundred thousand, over a hundred thousand dollars cumulatively, um, that we all raised together, like the, the entire team raised, uh, let's see campaigns, uh, the event. Oh my God. A hundred and ninety thousand two hundred twenty one dollars and 83 cents, uh, that uh, happened together. We did $500 of that. So, um, again, thank you for, to our incredibly generous community, um, for their support, uh, for y'all just coming out and showing up like you always do. Um, but the lupus foundation of America, um, runs game on to in lupus every year is their big event. Um, lupus is a very mysterious disease. There's not a lot that we know about it. Um, it is an autoimmune disorder. It's very, very hard to diagnose. It disproportionately affects women. Um, and life expectancy isn't necessarily great with it. So it's something that, um, you know, this foundation is trying to put as much as they can into research to learn more about it, uh, figure out what causes it, um, try to nail down, you know, better ways of diagnosing it and eventually getting, getting the fuck out of here. So, um, Love, love, love um, the folks at uh, the Lupus Foundation of America, especially Stacy, who is basically like there. I, I forget exactly what her title is, but she is the one who works for the foundation and coordinates all of this stuff for the event and everything that they do all year long. So um, really, really love, love that group. Um, where's my, I have a picture. Uh, where's the picture I took with her? Do, 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 do. What day is today? I don't even know what day it is. Well, the 27th. Is that what Friday. day it is? I don't even know, man. That's, that's a rumor I've heard, yes. Yeah, I've, I understand that we get down on Friday. 
Oh, well, you got to get down on Friday. So this is this is a picture of me uh, with Stacy from the Lupus Foundation of America. And you can see she is very small. And I am very large standing next to her. Very, very small. Um, but she's she's very sweet. <gasps> Zorda. Zorda, thank you for the the 649 to Trans Lifeline. Fantastic. What is yeah. that? That puts us nice. at 69 That's cents. The, that puts us at forty two eighty and sixty nine cents. <gasps> Heather, hi Heather. Forty two eighty sixty nine. Fantastic, Zorda. Thank you so very much. That's just mwah, chef's kiss. Um. So yeah, and then the other booth that I actually spent the majority of my time at uh, was the Starlight Children's Foundation booth. So for those of you who uh, follow our very, very dear friend, uh, 9.5. Um, Nine is a, she's a fiber artist. She's, boy howdy, is she just, she's just a mess. We love her so much. Where's my, I have a button for nine, actually. There's my nine button. Oh, you do. I do, I do. It's because it's nine, you see. Um, so nine's a fiber artist. She does, um, uh, a lot of crochet. She's actually been doing some knitting here the last couple of days, but her, yarn is her life pretty much. Um, and so uh, she's been a big advocate for Starlight Children's Foundation for a while. Starlight um, works with hospitals, uh, children's hospitals to um, provide like gaming consoles and gaming stations like Nintendo Switches um, for kids that are in the hospital um, and dealing with, you know, anything from like cancers to other kinds of like debilitating diseases and things like that. Cause when you're a kid in the hospital, you don't want to think about all the hospital shit, right? So starlight, um, holy shit. Pingu, thank you for $125 to trans lifeline. That's amazing and incredibly generous. Thank you so much. We are now over $4,400. And we still have 69 at the end. Nice. Um, nice. But yeah, uh, Starlight actually um, works with both Nintendo and the hospitals. Um, they have like these these setups to where uh, they can either take in like this, basically like this rugged ice case that has a switch in it that um, kids can go play video games. Or they even have like a gaming station that's, uh, it's a cart that they wheel in that's got a switch and controllers and a TV and everything mounted on it. Uh, so kids can go in and they can play video games and, and, you know, like have a fun distraction from all of the hospital stuff that they're having to deal with. So, uh, nine's been fundraising for them for a while now. Um, I met some of the, the, the folks at the booth there, including Simone who works for Starlight and she ended up with two of my stickers. I think she was the only one at the con who ended up with two. I got conned at the con. Um, but. Uh, I actually got an email from her today about that, so that was pretty funny. Um, but Starlight is a fantastic cause. And again, um, Nine's been doing stuff with them for a while. Uh, they have an entire team, uh, Team Stream Stars, that uh, they get together for a couple of different events every year, including uh, an upcoming event, which I don't think we're going to participate in this year because we're going to keep the Trans Lifeline fundraiser open. Uh, but they have a 12 Days of Giving that comes up that's December 1st through 12th. Um, that's a, one of their big drives. And then they also have a March drive that happens um, that's centered around Mario Day, March the 10th, um, which is because uh, they, again, they work uh, with Nintendo to uh, to uh, get these uh, gaming stations, these Switch-based gaming stations for hospitals. <gasps> Hi, Bearsies. Yes. See? There it is. There's a... There's a beautiful starlight emote right there. Absolutely perfect. Um, that's that's one of that's one of Dish's emotes. Actually, Dish works for Starlight now. So, um, yeah. So yeah. Um, and again, there's a lot of other great charities. Um, actually, I got so I don't I don't think I have a pin from them on here. Um, oh, I do. I do. I got it on the other side over here. Um, so. Uh, this is my friend Maggie. Um, Maggie is an artist. She's she's a sweetheart, and she works for Project Hope. Let me shout out Maggie real quick. Um, 
So Maggie, uh, she works for Project Hope. Project Hope does, um, uh, they do medical programs and medical assistance and things like that to areas of need, especially those that are affected um, by conflict and stuff like that. So um, Project Hope is, is, she's been working with them for a couple of years now. Um, so that's been like really fun to just kind of follow her journey with that. That's, I know it's something that she's very passionate about and, and just absolutely loves doing. So, um, uh, love that for her, but I got to spend some time with her and, and hang out, which was really, really fun. Uh, love, love seeing her, um, uh, been meaning to, to actually meet up with her in person for a while now. So I'm glad we got to do that. Um, so yeah, so I think that's most of the charities that I spent a lot of time at. And again, there were there were several other great causes there. Uh, I know, like, uh, Fuck Cancer was there for a while. Um, the Junior Diabetes Research Foundation was there. Um, the um, Stack Up, which is the um, uh, the military and veteran support network, was there. Um, USO was there. A few others, like several others, but... Um, these are the ones that I, I spent a lot of time talking to and, and kind of, you know, resonated with me. So that was, that was, that was really great to be able to do, um, at the, uh, the lupus foundation meetup, I actually got to see one of my fellow teammates from game on to end lupus this year, movie go 84. And that's one of her, her pins. So that's pretty fantastic with a little popcorn, I like the acrylic pins. I just. I love these. These are so nicely done. These are so good. So good. Um, let me see. Let me go. Do, 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 do. So it was right when you stopped streaming, couldn't they were really, really lovely to work with. I got reached out to by them a couple of times and it just, it wasn't the right time for me. Um, so I just like, and it's tough because there's a lot of causes that I want to fundraise for, but you know how it is. You can't spread yourself too thin. Like you, you just kind of have to pick and choose because you, you don't have the time. You don't have, have the resources to be able to do it, but that's stack up is a, a great, great, um, charity. They, again, they, they help support, um, both active military and veterans through gaming. Um, so helping them find ways to, uh, you know, deal with PTSD and things like that and using gaming as a way to channel that. So that's really, really cool. Um, they do like these, um, these supply drop things where, you know, they'll, they'll do games and even systems and PCs for, um, again, military and veterans that are in need and want that kind of stuff. So that's, that's always a really fun time. Um, so it's, yeah, it's again, it's, it's on my list. It's just, you know, hi, Batsy flitting around doing tasks. I, yeah, I've been doing chores this week myself. Um, and I got this keychain from Amish Ace. So Amish, uh, he is a he's a brick builder. Uh, he does the the Legos and things like that. Let's see, but you know Amish. Um, oh my God, Super Mario sixty four. Of course he was fucking playing Super Mario sixty four. Oh, through me. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, that's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah, the, uh, the Lego community actually had uh, a really big presence at TwitchCon this year. Uh, they had like this huge table where they had a bunch of purple bricks set up. Um, and they were doing a lot of stuff there and, um, hanging out and just building all kinds of cool shit. Um, and they actually had like prime real estate. So at the far end of the expo hall, they had, um, uh, they had like this whole setup with all of their bricks and everything. And it was right outside of the glitch theater, like the big main theater where they did opening and closing ceremonies and a bunch of the big events and shit like that. So like you had to walk by the big Lego setup, the brick building community stuff to get into the main theater, which was really, really cool. Um, so, uh, we got to meet, uh, we got to meet Amish Ace. Um, again, these are a lot of these people are people that I know through nine. Um, so he's really cool. Um, and then Ian Douglas, seven thirty six. I got one of his, he, he actually 3d printed a bunch of different colors of his, 
uh, his little keychain here. So I got one of his, which is really cool. Um, this is a friendship bracelet that um, Maggie Draskia she made um, for uh, to to hang on to to give to a, f a few folks. So I she saved one for me, which was just wonderful. Uh, and I think that's pretty much all of the flair on my badge. I think that covers everything. Anyway, that's a lot of cool stuff. And that's just the stuff on my badge. Like, it was great. It was fantastic. I love that. Um, uh, I ended up with a Project Hope beanie as well. So, you know, I'll hang this somewhere. Hello, Tay. Uh, so I'm, I'll hang this somewhere. And then at the Starlight booth, um, the different streamers that were coming to hang out at the Starlight booth were doing different games. So uh, when I came to the Starlight booth on Friday morning, Amish was there at the booth. Um, and I mean, Nine was there too. <sighs> okay. So Friday morning, we go. And uh, me and Hilti, you know, we've already got our badges. We go stand in line. And the line is just fucking out fucking rageous like it's boy howdy uh, as tom described it being the introvert that he is it was a whole lot of nope uh let me see that if was, i can that was a giant length of nope yeah it was it was several nopes all in a row uh let's see let's grab a picture of the line uh <sighs> So this is, this was the line. Um, so the front of the convention center is like way the hell over here. And we are all just in line and they, they started having us like stack in, like just push in. So, um, we got, I mean, we got there obviously before doors open. Um, but they wanted us to like, you know, really just go and, and get all in there. Um, it was, uh, who boy, it was a lot. It was a ton of people. Um, I want to say that, uh, Zach Busey, he's a, uh, he's a journalist that covers a lot of Twitch news by his count. I think he said there were something like 26,000 people there. 26,000 attendees. One, two. <laughs> Tom's Tom's well, counting to verify. Tom's counting to verify. Like, yes, yeah, like eleven thousand five hundred and ninety-seven. Hey, are you Zach? Wait, no, no. Oh, damn it. Yep. Yep. <sighs> One, two. <laughs> that is more than ten. Like, but only a couple, Hiltzy. Only a couple. Uh so yeah. a uh, lot of lot of folks there. Um and so we're waiting in line and we finally get in the door. Um, and so we just start wandering the expo hall. And uh, again, I started going around to a couple of the charity booths, um, seeing some folks, saying hi to a couple of folks that I knew. And then uh, ended up um, when opening ceremony started, I want to say that was like 1030 because uh, that doors opened at 10. Um, we went down to the Glitch Theater, which is the opposite end of the expo hall to go watch opening ceremonies where they did a bunch of stuff. And, uh, Dan Clancy, the CEO had a bunch of announcements and, um, there was someone proposed to her girlfriend on stage, which I have opinions on, but that's okay. That's all right. Um, but anyway, yeah, ton of people, ton of people that were there. Um, it's a choice. Yep. Interesting venue, interesting choice to propose in front of tens of thousands of people. I just, here's my thing. All right, this is here, here, here we go. Do you, do you, but there it is. It's the pressure. If I were the person being proposed to in that scenario, absolutely not. Now, again, that's me, and everyone's situation is different. Everyone handles this kind of thing differently. Um, maybe you have a certain expectation 
when you are dating and talking about a long-term commitment with someone whose life is streaming and like very much like, you know, in the limelight as a, a top streamer on Twitch. But to, to me, that's something that's a, that's a private moment. That's a, that's a private intimate moment, right? Now, granted the way I did it was, you know, there was no pomp and circumstance for sure. Like Bean came home. I was sitting on the couch. I told her to come sit down and she thought something was wrong. She thought I was dying or something. Um, <laughs> But then, uh, you know, that was, again, that was, that was Sooner our little later, moment. I guarantee it. Sooner or later, I guarantee it. Yeah. So like we had, a, we had our little moment and it was, it was, it was great. You know, it was, it was again, the moment just for the two of us. Um, I don't know. Public proposals. Like if that's something that's like agreed upon the, the, f like by, by both the people involved, fine but like well that's different hidden that's different we yeah we you know that's what you get for marrying a yankees fan here's the other thing <sighs> me. Um, maybe you and your partner agreed on that but there's no way anyone else got a chance to consent to it that's that's true that's also true um oh my god pingu that's so funny that's so funny. You use Legos to formally propose to, yeah. Which, honestly, Fritz, buddy, if 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 that's not your brand, I don't know what is. Um, but like, I just, I feel like those moments are those are moments that, again, for me, those are that's that's a private thing that you share in private. That's you know, I I don't know. Again, it was a regular bit. Well, I mean, there probably still is at the uh, local hockey arena. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it happens almost every game. Yeah, but uh, again, and like, I'm like, so the choices are say yes or get booed. Yeah, well, and and that might be a thing. Again, if if this is something that like, hopefully, you have discussed this beforehand. Like you don't just, you don't just credit, you don't just, well, I, I, yeah, but how else are you supposed to monetize your nuptials? This is why I knew you and I would get along. Um, but like, yeah, yeah. Pingu, like in, in national, in front of national TV like that. No, that's. Just oof, oof, but like, that's. But like, like Tay's story, that's, there's a time and place and maybe that's not the time or the place. Hidden, do you, hidden, do you have, hidden, do you have a, a link to your clip? I'll play your clip. Um, but like time and place, right? And I'm not so much concerned about the other people who are watching this, I am concerned solely about the person who is being proposed to. It, again, it's just very manipulative, intentionally or otherwise. Yeah, like yeah, like intentionally or otherwise, it feels that way. Yes, it it feels like it it can be that way. And again, probably not the intention, but a, but when you plan this with the Twitch brass to do on the main stage of the open ceremonies of TwitchCon. I just, I feel like they would want some sort of guarantee that it wasn't going to. Yeah. And that's and embarrassingly. That's fair. That's fair. All right. Let's anyway, let's play hiddens. This is, is it going to work? No, it's of course it's not going to fucking work. Why would it work? That would be preposterous. Oh, because it's not, it doesn't have a clip in front of it. That's why. Um, let me, can I do it with a, how's, where's the box? It's just like some little link you could click. Yeah, but it's, it works better the other way. 
Let's see if. Uh, yeah, the let's, let me go grab the. Let me see if I can get the clip link for it. Or is this a? Oh, oh, this is this is the moment. Oh, this is like the full like moment thing. Okay, I can. This is Hiddens, by the way. Hidden will eventually... She'll stream again eventually. I hear it. I don't see it. Oh. Let me... There we go. Look, look. She got a big old sunflower balloon, which... Sunflowers are Hidden's favorite. Just v Nice, Hidden. Nice. That's her balloon. She love her balloon. Oh God! Don't do this to me right now. <laughs> oh my God! Uh, this I just love Viv and chat. Like, move the goddamn balloon. No joke. You serious? So all those times when we're like, hey, could you um, could you uh? It's. <laughs> That's our friend Hidden, and that's her now husband, G. Is that why Viv said move the goddamn balloon? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ah, yes. I know. Yes, 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 yes. Look, look at them. They're so cute. They're so friggin' yeah, cute. That's so cute. But Yay. like, that's that's one of those things. Oh All right, get out of here. Um. <laughs> Yeah, here I'm done. I'm done with your fucking happy ending, hidden. God damn it. Um, oh my. <laughs> but like you know, we a bunch of us were in on that. There were several of us who were in on that. It was, it was cold bloody. It was yeah, yeah yeah. I'm really happy for you. Get the fuck off my yeah, screen. That's yeah. Basically, what you just did. Well, said she had her moment. It's fine. She's she's married now. It's done. Well, I didn't say you were in on it. I said several of us were in on it. It's very different, Hidden. <laughs> several of us knew going into that. <laughs> oh. Um, and we reiterate, he's a Yankees fan. That he is a Yankees fan, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Walmart. You should get out here yeah, pretty fucking much. <laughs> oh. Okay, Tay, that's, that's really cute, though. That's... That's really fucking cute. Off my screen, this is under time, Jesus. I mean, but also fair. Also fair. <laughs> fair. Um, so, so yeah. So, we had... Um, so, went to opening ceremonies. Um, and there were a lot of cool announcements that came out of there. Um, uh, welcome back, Patsy. Uh, like... Um, some additional safety and trust features that are coming. Um, they've rolled out the thing where people who are banned or blocked uh, can't watch your channel. Um, some additional safety things that are coming. Um, they're doing some enhancement stories just came out, so they're and they're already working on ways to improve that, which is is nice. Uh, um, I'm not limiting it to mobile, like so I could see it somewhere on my homepage. Yeah, that's they did not mention it coming like anywhere outside of mobile yet. Uh, yes, you do have to go turn on that ban option. You do. You do, but it's like anything like this. Uh, whenever they announce something, go do your thing. Uh, so, <sighs> captions, captions would be amazing. I do know that there is the description that you can enter now, which is nice, but it's also something they don't, bring it's not forward so you have to like look for it um emily emily thank you for yet another 50 dollars to trans lifeline putting us at 44 55 69 that's a nice, nice. number that's a nice number hi emily no you're you're 
buddy, you're fine. You're absolutely fine. I, I'm, I'm always happy to be interrupted for a donation to a wonderful cause. Um, so, uh, Don't worry. We've been interrupting him all night. It's great. That's true. Yeah. That's, that's all, that's all he does is interrupt me. And we've been doing it with nonsense. You're oh, doing it with important things. That's true. That's also true. Yes. You, God, you're, you're such nonsense. Um, Lies nonsense. but yeah, they're working on, they're working on better like analytics and stuff like that. But yes, I'm cash. I'm with you. Like not having accessibility features baked in. And boy, howdy, does this platform have a history of releasing half-baked shit. In fact, so much so, things like Guest Star. Like, Guest Star was, Guest Star was a response to a third-party product that somebody who used to work for Twitch went off on his own and developed and released. And they basically copied it and released it on their own. And not enough people are using it, so they have already rebranded it. It's no longer Guest Star. It's now called Stream Together. And they're adding some features to it, which I think are cool if it's if that's the th like the thing that you're into, right? So, the guest star thing is, um, well, y'all remember a couple months back when uh, Alyssa from um, from Live Space was here, and I did the interview with her. We did that using guest star because um, at the time it worked, you know, really well. Um, yeah, uh, Heather and Matt used it last night. That was pretty cool. Um, But, uh, like they're, they're already like adding stuff and they've already, they're, they're, they're adding stuff and they've already rebranded re it. So you could have used, used discord. There, there are things about guest star. I do like, like having a dedicated browser source. Whereas with discord, it's a lot more difficult to get video. Um, like you have to getting a discord capture is much more of a pain in the ass, right? Um, especially when you have scenario where like, um, we've mentioned like the, the, the ship is starting to have work on a, on a co-op randomizer, right? Yeah. And it would make sense to have both, both players streams on, on stream for that. In yes. case one person is doing something extremely boring, you can watch the other person's. Would that help with that kind of a scenario, or would that be easier to do through Discord? Um, if you've got multiple people, you can do it through Guest Star or through Stream Together. Um, I guess it's if you're if if it is a Twitch stream centric thing that you are trying to produce, then it's probably going to be easier to do it through Stream Together because it has all of the stuff uh, there for it. And yes, they are working on things like. Uh, the ability to merge in chats, um, which is something that other multi-stream tools have been doing their own kind of version of for a while. Um, Can you make one of those? Well, yours didn't merge chats. No, ours didn't. Chats it, on screen. The the chats are side by side. Yeah, so I have I have a multi-stream setup that I built um, that I wanted like a very specific setup for, and it works. But it's one of those things where like most multi-stream things are to this point where You've got like your side by side video feeds and your side by side chats, so you can see both, but they're not merged. Stream Together is eventually going to have merged chats so that you can see the stuff from both chats in one window. Don't know how that's going to work. I certainly don't know how that's going to work from a developer standpoint because that's going to be fucking weird, but I bet that's part of the reason why they are pushing for some of the new developer stuff that is coming in, excuse me, in Q1 of next year. They're changing, they're changing how they want people to connect to chat from a third party developer standpoint for like bots and shit like that. So yeah, modding and channel bots will be very interesting for not just the merge chats thing, uh, but also, um, for again, for third party tools, that's going to be really weird. Um, I mean, mechanically in my mind, the second you initiate that, uh, that session with whomever, then your chat now pulls from like a, they start pointing somewhere different, right? Like so, they both point to the same place, right? And that's that's so the there's a pre and post to this, or you could even separate it in the UI somehow. Yeah, and that's the line, that, 
Right, and that's 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 hopefully like that. Uh, we'll f- we'll find out more as this as they actually start to to release this. Is the point? We'll 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 figure this out. Um, yeah. But there are considerations like what if one of them has that has a person banned? Yeah, the other one doesn't. Right, exactly. Yeah. Um. So, I'm I'm curious to see what the answers to all of these questions are in the. F- the coming months but but again guest star was a feature that was like okay we got to get this out the door here you go and now they're starting to add things to it and they're not even out yet that make it more useful which is nice but again it's this half-baked kind of stuff that we get on the platform that isn't ideal um and so much of it like cash was saying released without accessibility considerations which is just like "Mm." so yeah yeah um <sighs> but yeah maybe uh, slip into software work mode yeah uh, see stop doing that you're you're doing vroom vroom cars and and full of that. oh i thought you were uh, i was thinking about it but All right. like that, honestly <laughs> you're full of chicken and gummies well it's mostly the gummies that are driving here i mean that's <laughs> yeah well that's that's fair that's fair buddy <laughs> Um, if you want until a new software is perfect before launch, it never comes. No, Hilti, but there are minimum things that should come out with that, right? Like, no, I don't, I don't, I'm not, and I'm not expecting it. To... Yeah, are, but are that's you trying to suggest that the product should be minimally viable. That's well, that's the thing. That's the <laughs> thing. Like, people have different definitions of MVP. Bark, 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 bark. bark. Yeah, and that's. Does Tom want us to stop having this conversation? I now? think he's just—he's getting into work mode, and he—he's—he doesn't—he doesn't like it. He's like, I wasn't at work. for that. He's like, I'm not at work right now. I don't want to talk about work things. But the point is, yes, Ugh. there are there are different levels of MVP, and what we are saying is, what they think is minimally viable is not what the community thinks is minimally viable. So, do I think they use agile? Probably. They probably fucking do some form of agile. I guarantee it. They're a software shop based in California, probably. Uh, well, they real drunk. Uh, Tay, they are talking about. So they are also talking about the the viewership numbers when people are streaming together. That stuff will also get merged, I, and that's that's going to be really weird. It's going to be really fucking weird. I don't know. <gasps> Paintbrush, hi paintbrush. How you doing, buddy? Um, so yeah, so a lot of announcements. Um, big one that I really like. All affiliates and partners are getting soon TM. They are getting double the number of animated emotes that they have right now, and additional slots will open up for people who are using the Twitch first party on screen alerts um, for things like subs and shit like that. Um, Zam, you're not a, don't lie to people. You're not a partner. You're a Canadian. It's different. We're not talking about your company's project management software. Oh, God. God. Hello, we've been trying to reach you about your project management software. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to more animated emotes because I have one waiting in the wings that I have not been able to use yet because the ones that we have are really great. And I love them. Uh, but, there's one that I'm waiting to just flip on, flip the switch on. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Is it Bowsette squeezing her boobs together? No, it is not Bowsette <laughs> squeezing her boobs together. School being it's exhausting, Bowsette. work being exhausting, the usual. Yeah, that sounds about right, paintbrush. That sounds about right. Here, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna shout out paintbrush because they're amazing. Uh, paintbrush is a is a friend of ours. They are a fantastic artist. Um, and they like to do a lot of tabletop gaming stuff too. Um, very, very much into cosplay. Like their cosplay stuff is just top notch. So if you like that kind of stuff, go follow paintbrush. They are an absolute fucking delight. Um, so, uh, yeah, anyway, um, so a lot of announcements, huh? Here's Wonderwall. (laughs) here, or as, or as Ali Beth said the other day, anyway, here's wall wonder. Um. Oh no! So, <laughs> <In the Wonderwall. laughs> 
Um, the one thing that, that they announced, which is good, but also, again, shit that should have been there from day one. Okay? Shit that should have been there from day one. Um, Twitch has an off-service conduct policy, and if you do specific things off of Twitch that fall into certain categories, you can be punished on Twitch for it. Um, you can, can, it can result in suspensions or bans, right? So they have added effective, uh, like effective as the, of the announcement, um, that doxing and swatting are now things that can get you banned on Twitch that are violations of the off service conduct policy, which is good, but also why the fuck wasn't that there day one that has, that should have been a day fucking one thing for that policy it's not like doxing and swatting or anything new it's been going on for fucking years especially in this space like it was made popular in the fucking streaming space people getting fucking swatted on stream and you're just now adding that to your policy like <clears throat> day one man day one day anyway i'm uh, so yes there were a lot of announcements some good some head scratchy some you know um but yeah there was it was a uh, the opening ceremonies were at least a a fanfare to to be sure um the charges are happening. Yes. It, and that's, it's, it, I am glad that it's happening. Paintbrush that you're absolutely right. Like it's, it is something to, to like, yes, I'm glad we're getting it. I just wish that it was, it, it didn't take so long for us to get there. Right. Um, but anyway, all right, I'll get off my soapbox now. So, Watch opening ceremonies. Uh, we're hanging out, and so uh, oh, another thing that they did announce. Um, so Twitch has it for everyday hustling. Tani, we were just talking about you a little while ago, a quarter of the way to a hundred months. Tani, thank you for twenty five months, pal. I love you so much. I do. I do. I do. Um. Uh, one other thing before before I I keep going with with the day. Um. <clears throat> So Twitch has a few guilds. Um, there is a, uh, I know there's a women's guild that, uh, again, Coco, Coco confession, Coco is everywhere. Uh, Coco helps lead the women's guild. Um, I know there's a, uh, a Latin guild and I think it's, I think it's a black creators guild is what, like those are the three that they had featured on stage. Um, before you had to be a partner to be a member of the guild. Now, any affiliate or partner can apply to join the guild, which I think is fantastic. Um, and for something like that, I know that's something that you want a slower rollout of. I, that I get, um, because those are, those are more protected spaces. Those are things that deserve to have that vetting process. Um, so I'm very, very glad that that is something that is starting to roll out. Um, in fact, uh, one of the different from stream teams. Tani, Tani, Tani has now gifted Cash and I uh, subs to each other's channels because they did it yesterday. They did it fucking yesterday. Is like Cash was ending her stream, gifting me a sub. Now they've gifted one to Cash. Thank you so much, Tani. You know I love you, you nerd. Um, a proper disability guild, yes. Yes, absolutely yes. I know that um, uh, D, Ellie, and Coco were um, they they had um, what was what was the name of their team? Um, it was something glitch. I forget what it was, but that was there. Um, they actually had a stream team um, that was for disabled creators, uh, which was great, um, but it kind of got big and a little overwhelming for them to manage on their own. Um, so I know they had to shift their priorities and focus from that. Um, What's the difference no. between this and a stream team? 
this is this is an, like a thing that Twitch like has back enough. So like a stream team, you just go to Twitch and say, hey, I want to form a, I'm a partner. I want to form a team. Here's what I want to do. And Twitch is like, all right, here's your team. You can add people to it. With the guild, Twitch is like, we officially sanction this. This is like, this is like a thing that we, we support. Like not just, not just like, yes, you can go do this, but like they are actively invested in it in some way. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, no longer just a, a team hosting service. Right. Yeah, including Ute. Um, uh, but yeah, I think I've, it might have been, I forget what it was. It was glitch something. Anyway, the point is, uh, yes, I would love to see a disability guild. Um, that is that is something that absolutely needs to happen. Um, but it's it's good that, again, these things are happening and, and growing. That's That's really good. Um, so right after that announcement is, uh, no, Tay, absolutely not. I will, I will not. I will continue to do, reverse. Reverse. I will continue to do the reverse. Um, so after that, uh, Hilsey and I, we wandered over to the other side of the theater and then we ran into the gremlins. So, um, for those of you know, our dear friend, Julia, Julia, Let's let's go ahead and shout her out. Um, Are you doing all this for memory, or did you write this shit down? I'm. What do you mean, like, like, like did you just have? I don't know. You just seem to have like a ton of stories and a like reasonable amount of detail to all of them. No, I didn't like, write any of this down. This is just. It's, I gotta tell you, most of this shit would have been gone for me by this point. Well, you okay? You have to understand. This is the first big in-person social event that I have done in f like four years, right? And yeah, you know me. Like you know me. You have known me longer than literally everyone else. Here. Well, except for Fritz, but for Fritz. Fritz, except for Fritz, but you know me better. Um, and you know that I am. I am the extreme extrovert of the group, right? So I have needed this infusion of like energy of people around me. Cash, it's fine. It's a fashion statement. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Remember when we had to talk you into going? Uh. Uh, anyway. Man, you're just talking about being around a bunch of people makes me want to go take a nap. This is, okay, <laughs> listen. Exhausting. This is This is why... <laughs> <laughs> this is why this is why I go to these things and then I tell you about it later because it's like, oh yeah, that's some that's 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 a nice story. Know, that sounds exhausting. I don't, know, yeah. I don't know if you heard me yesterday, but when we got to Meat Fountain and that place was fucking packed for on a random ass Thursday for it was. no good goddamn reason. It was, yeah. Um, well, the meat I was meat is the I reason. was like like we were barely fitting in the door and like being and Elena shoved off to the side a little bit away. And I was and, like, you started to go up to like, go to get us our table and everything. And I was like service extrovert. Go. That's, that's exactly <laughs> what I did. That's exactly what I did. Okay. Again. So, so for the new folks here, uh, for the new folks here, uh, I am there. There are very few extroverts in my community. Okay. Very, very few. Uh, besides my, besides myself, notably there's Hiltzy, there's Batsy and that's pretty, and, and Tay, but you know, Tay, we, we have to, we have Zam, to kind of keep yeah. him caged. Zam's, Zam for sure. Zam's, Zam's not an extrovert. Zam is a monster. Angry, angry man. Who's, who's Zam? Z he's, he's the, he's the gentleman who smells of poutine and moose. I thought that was Hilsey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's made of poo is the is the uh, impression he's trying to leave here. Yes, yeah. So, so we have a we have a handful of extroverts, right? Um, and then the uh, it, 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 moose, mo moose, batty moose. Um, so we have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but aside from this handful 
this community is well i know i know batsy that's why i did it for funsies um the the joke the joke that batsy is making is that zam because zam is bald he doesn't need moose uh pumpkin painting party cash have fun have fun uh can i can i do it again will it let me it it might yes (laughs) ha ha Haha, <laughs> it's because it's been over an hour. Uh, go follow Cash. She's wonderful. She does a lot of co working streams. She's working on her dissertation. Um, so she uses tomato timing, mean, Pomodoro timers. Um, they're, they're tomato timers. I will always call them that. Um, oh my God, I'm a tomato. I'm a tomato. That's what the, the timer is going to say one day. Yes, one day. One day it will say that. It will not say that. Um, no, Zam. You, no, you don't, Zam. You love us. You love us. Um, thanks for crayons to design on the walls. Slightly bigger. Now that's what we do with CKY You, we, we give you, we give you proper quarters. We actually pay for yours instead of using the old refrigerator boxes like we do with CKY. Um, I am too, you Tony. I very much am too. Um. You good? Okay. Uh, I'm gonna. I gotta slip away for just a couple minutes. Um, I'm. I will be right back. I gotta help Bean out with something. Put up the screen. I'm gonna put up the screen. Settle down. Uh, well, I'm, you never do. So we have to remind you. Yes. Okay. I'm doing it. I'm gonna go ahead and. and Clearly, we're not gonna get permission to do it. <sighs> it's not. It's not MVP. Can you shut up so I can do it? <laughs> I'm gonna run an ad. I will be back in a couple of minutes. Just listen to the chuckle fucks talk about this, the the shit that's going on. All right, all right. Wait, which shit? There's shit going on. Ah, uh, Cracko hat. Actually, it's Beard Man. Well, only if you're only if you're Dom's son. And then he muted himself, so we can't even it's canon. Fucking hear I think it. I think the only people <laughs> that Dom said so. I think the only people I think the only like people in like the greater group that he has. Also, we don't um, the matter. This is like my tenth can. Um, the only people that that Dom's son has today. nicknames oh. for today uh, are me, sure who's Beard Man, and Mana, who is the magic hair lady, because she always has different colored hair. To hear it. Yeah, I don't even have the stream running. I just have chat popped. Which and kind of in a roundabout way video. makes her tonks from Harry Potter. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? Oh. I, I wouldn't know. So I will just say that you are correct. There you go. That's fair. It's fine. That's... He's just shoving his face full of not the 20 ounce can. Let me do my weeb shit. Hi, it's me, Stan. Let no. me do my weeb shit. He must That's... be on a samurai. Oh, weave shit. I thought you said weeb shit, and I was like, I thought you no, were all weeb shit. shit. Well, oh, you phrase. did say weeb shit. Okay. All right. Samurai. Well, then I was about to say, I thought you were always doing your weeb shit. No, Samurai have a thing that whenever you finish one of their, like, three combos, they get a a little little shiny thing that lights up, and then, depending on the number of shiny things that they have lit up, they push a button, and <sighs> they do a completely ineligi- illegible thing that And what do you damage. call it, Chris? I call it Medali. That one more time. Yeah. <laughs> also known as weep shit. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> I love it. Holy shit! That's that's several. That's more than zero. <laughs> then the government got involved. Oh. Oh, now he's getting fucked. He's, he's fucking up things as a shark. Do I have the stream low, or am I just extremely low? I'm a shark and I'm gonna eat them all. The song I wrote about getting rid of the boats. I love it. Are Thanks. you getting low? I'll put it on my next album. Ah, okay. Well, I have the stream really? up now, so now I can hear me. Hmm. Yeah, never Most cats have a natural oh, avoidance oh, for onions. Like, go out of their way to avoid them because biological responses say bad. Yours desires them since he was a kitten. <laughs> That's what I'm 
it says. <laughs> Did you do this? Is this your doing? <laughs> I'll admit it if you show it to the class. <sighs> Fucking Lockhart. You and Lockhart. There we go. <laughs> 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 Get out. By the way, fuck you. <laughs> hey, Cracko, imagine if you broke into my house and you got fucking murked and they had to drag all. I don't know why, but I've got super sus on his head. I don't know why. Yeah. I mean, it's me. That's fair. I don't think it's him, but it, I mean, it could actually is him. Though. Me in the it past. is him. I mean, uh, yeah. Uh, very little, Faf. Very little. I'm aware of it. <laughs> so, so, Tom, you haven't laughed at one of your own jokes like that in months, know what buddy. I'm laughing at. It was I hilarious. In months, buddy. Oh, I Faf, Faf, let's not I'll get ahead of ourselves. He is. Oh. He is. Okay, Viv and and Viva. If you happen to catch this later, this? okay. Viva, Brendo, if you figure out how to write good code, for the love of God, please tell me, woman, because I have no idea. I have been writing code for thirty years, and I have yet to not write garbage code. Please, for the love I, of God, explain to me where sure good code comes from. I have no idea. I don't. I don't think no you code. write good code. No, I yeah. think you just do a little bit better every time. Hey, he doesn't do that. Is that anymore. what it is? Do love me a good cat jam. You just want a picture of his god dang hot dog. Well, I'm sorry. You'll have to subscribe to his only toms. Oh, speaking of a thing that definitely exists. Speaking of large shafts. Yes. Only spuds. Okay. <laughs> oh, speaking of spuds, you know what I mean? Listen, as someone who's been here for like the last 15 years, don't move to Florida. It's the worst. You know why I'm in Florida? Because of I've got family in Florida. And that's it. That's it. Being in her family, that's... That's why I'm in Florida. I moved here initially because it was close to my hometown, and I, you know, don't New York my Florida. Shut the fuck up, don't New York my Florida. Um, but don't move to Florida. It is not a great state. <laughs> I don't know when this clip was from, but... Most cats have a natural uh, avoidance for onions. Yeah, don't move to Florida. Like, another way to avoid them because biological oh, responses stay bad. Worse. Yours desires them since oh, he was a kid. Oh, let's do this one again. That's <laughs> still hilarious. I just want you to know I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> oh, god damn it. This is why we can't have nice things. Oh, I forgot to do that. It played that, w it played that one twice. I, yeah. of, of course it did. Of course it did. <laughs> uh. Want to play? Hey, you want to play Power Wash together? Again? Spray me harder, Daddy. <laughs> <sighs> uh. Oh, did that come up hidden? Yeah, I'm. I'm. There are several <laughs> things that I need to go back and remove from some of the uh, the archives. Well, yeah. Ah, uh. Hilsey, thanks for the lurk, buddy. Anyway, welcome back. I'm I'm back. I'm back. Waffle bacon. Thanks. I use Firebot for I all this. A zoomer yeah. And she hates that. Yeah. Yeah. Firebot does all of that. When's that YouTube tutorial coming out? Uh, six baby. T B D. T B and also D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like these nuts. Um. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> any any fucking way, I got him. Get wrecked. Bet you do, hidden. Was he wrecked? 
Hidden, is that why you married an Italian? For the sausage. You getting that Italian sausage? Hey, bibbity bobbity. Um, right, <laughs> correct. Reach the end, but stretch out the sides. God, and the goot pasta. Hey, yeah. Bibbity bobbity. Bibbity the bobbity. Anyway, um, so we uh, we went across the. I'm I'm sure you are Betsy. That's that's what I'm here for. I'm here to I'm here to offend you. It's the only thing that I do that offends Batsy is the bibbity bobbity. Does that offend Batsy now? Oh, she no, she hates it. She she hates it. She's like, she's like it's she's like it's so stereotypical. She's like I hate it. Bobbity booby. <laughs> uh, it's fine. She's from Jersey. Don't worry about it. Um, Joyzy. Joyzy. Batsy's like in before Batsy's like South Jersey. Um, South Joyzy. South Joyzy. So yeah, we go across the way and no, f <laughs> no, fuck you. <laughs> See what did I say? What I say? Um. So we go across and we see we find the gremlin. So there's Julia's there. Let's see who else. Um, our dear friend Heather is there. We love Heather very very much. Um, and I, I guess I could queue up the shout outs for everybody. Uh, Matt is there, MX Northwest. Um, let's see. Uh, who else is there? Uh, Vi is there. Wait, Vi was playing Tears of the Kingdom too? I didn't know she was playing that. Um, let's see. What oh, else? She's playing that. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Oh, hey, by the way, um, did I tell... I don't think I told you guys. I built in a queuing system for, like, the fancy Twitch shoutouts. So whenever I do, like, the exclamation point SO command like that, it um, it will it has a queue that it will add, like, the Twitch shoutout to that it runs every, like, two minutes and five seconds because two minutes is, like, the minimum between those. And so it'll it'll go and it'll add all those in. And it'll like it'll just do them in sequence as they come up, which is really cool. So, big fan of that. And then I get to watch it in chat because I have things for the events. So you know, not not me over here doing you know, doing weird developer shit. I would never. I would absolutely never. Um, developer. I don't even know a developer. I I wouldn't know a developer. So. Um, okay. So um, let's see. Uh, so there was, there was Julia and Heather and Matt and Vi. Um, and that was it at that point. Although they were all staying in a, like an Airbnb together with, they were all hanging out with our very, very dear friend Tay. Um, there's a Wistie. Um, all the hats? Oh yeah, Tay, I started hanging my hats up here. Yeah, I have I have more hats. I just need to get more hooks to hang on them. Uh see, see, there's the shout out for Matt that just went out. See, look at that. Look at that. Just mwah, beautiful beautiful automation. Love that for me. Uh would you say that, that automation is satisfactory? No, I would not, no. Because I, I there's no factory. No. Tay is not Tay. Yes, that's a, that's a different Tay. There's T-A-Y Tay and there's T-A-E Tay. Two very different Tays. I want to stay, stop that. Stop it. Hold on. Where's my... Stop that. Um, yeah, there's a sound you haven't heard in a while, huh? Um, stop, stop being a horny little shit. I mean, you're still here, so... Right. Yeah. I've cornered the market. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, so we saw them, um, and we all left uh, opening ceremonies because they were they were I think they were starting to wind down anyway. Um, so Hiltzi and the Gremlins all went to um, they went to go do like the drag uh, makeup thing, which was really cool. Apparently, uh, they all got their makeup did. 
and they all ended up getting like Elgato Keylight Airs, like the little mobile, or not uh, Keylight Minis, the little mobile ones, not the Air, the Mini. Um, so that was cool. And Hiltzy also got fucking flagged at TSA for it on the, the way out, which was also great. So like he and I ended up in line together. Um, $100 worth of makeup and the mini key light. You got your setup nice, nice. Yeah. So Hiltzy's in like, it's, it's Monday afternoon and we go to the airport and like I go through and I'm doing my thing. Okay. I go through the scanner. They have the millimeter wave thing where you like, you have to stand, put your feet on the marks, do your hands up like this. And they have me come out and they're like, and they have had me look at the screen. They're like, we have to do a pat down. And I look at the screen and where do I have to get patted down? My crotch and my ass. Not even kidding. My crotch and my ass crack show up with little red squares on the screen. And I'm like, are you fucking? It's not. I didn't fart in the machine. Are they hiring? Armpits, <laughs> asshole, crotch, and teeth. Um. <laughs> <laughs> that's well done that was that was absolutely being that you heard hidden yep 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 uh so uh so i had to get patted down in both my crotch and my ass crack and the guy's like Ooh, would you nice ass crack you have here the guy's like would you like a private screening room i'm like nope just get it the fuck over with and so he does it and there you go and sprinkles haven't even set off the detectors what do i do i don't know i guess just being fat i guess just being fat but in a very specific configuration um so yeah that's so that happened so i i get so they pat me down obviously there's nothing so did you get his number no, absolutely not. It was the meat sticks. <laughs> nice. Uh, so I go through. They are mostly tasty lead. <laughs> That's also fair. <laughs> um, Bean gives... Stop that. Uh, so I go through and I get my stuff and I'm like, all right. And I look and I notice that Hiltzy's bag is on the other side of the conveyor belt. And I'm like, oh, no. Oh, no. So... I get done and I get oh, all my yeah. shit. Oh yeah. So I get done and I go and I just sit, right? I go and I sit down with the uh with all of my stuff. Um and I like I'm I'm just I'm just like, "All right, I'm going to wait. I want to see how this plays out cuz like in case Hilti needs backup, he needs somebody to vouch for him." I'm like, "All right, I'm I'm sit right here on the other just on the other side of security where like the benches are where you can get your shit all situated and stuff." Yeah, with popcorn waiting for this shit to happen. So and I'm like, why, why, what is going on here? What is happening? So as it turns out, um, you know, one of the things that TSA makes you do is you have to take out any electronic devices that are like tablets or bigger, like switches, game consoles, shit like that has to come out of your bag. The key light mini got flagged because the key light mini has like an led board in it and it's got electronics in it because it's got like Wi-Fi connectivity and shit like that. So it basically flags as a tablet, like as a small tablet, uh, with the electronics that it has in it. So he forgot that it was in there and he gets through and like, they, they have to go search his bag and he's there for like at least a good five minutes. Like I'm just sitting and I'm like, as the, as the, like the time rolls by, I'm like, shit, is Hilti going to be okay? Is he going to be like, what's the, what's the situation here? Like, does he get taken in the back and then deported and then he gets to go home anyway? Like what's so how does this work? So, but no, they went through and they swabbed it just to make sure it wasn't anything dangerous. And, um, they let him through and he was fine. So I'm like, yeah, it was like, it was like being inside Canadian without a permit, being Canadian without a permit. Yeah. Yeah, Zam got arrested for that once. Um, so, yeah, like, Hiltzy had, to, like, stuffed his bag because he got so much swag and shit that he had to, like, stuff his bag. He had to, like, throw out a bunch of, like, packaging and shit just so he didn't have to check his bag. It's not the first time that's happened to you. I'm not surprised. Honestly, buddy, I'm not surprised. It's because you're Canadian. That's what it is. They're like, why are Canadians coming to America? Why are they trying to escape? 
Um, so yeah, so, but yeah, so that, uh, that whole group, they all got, uh, air light mini or key light minis for the, uh, from the, the drag makeup thing. And they looked fabulous to boot. Like it was just mwah. like Hilti looked beautiful. It was, it was absolutely delightful. Um, so we, uh, we went through and, um, well, they went off to go do that thing. So meanwhile, I'm like, okay, I'm on my own now. Let's, let's find some people. So I'm like, Hey, I wanted to hang out with Karen. Uh, let's see, let's go. Um, and you know, I really wish you had made like little paper versions of them and you hold them up just like on popsicle sticks. One. Yeah. yeah. Guess you get, that's what I, them. that's what I should do. I should do next time is like take their avatars and just print them out and then just like put them on little popsicle sticks and hold them up. It's like, hi, this is me with Karen. There's a photo of you and Matt in discord. Nice. All right. I'll go see if I can grab that. Um, I want to show them the makeup. Uh, so I go and I, uh, uh, I find Karen, uh, Karen's hanging out by the Lego stuff. Cause she knows a lot of the Lego creators. Cause like the Lego folks and a lot of the crafting and maker folks, like, like the, the non Lego folks there, they all know each other from just being in the category together. Um, and just hanging out and stuff. So, uh, Karen and I, Karen and I hung out for a good chunk of the con nine and I hung out for a good chunk of the con. And of course, me and Hiltzy spent the vast majority of our time together, aside from some stuff that where he was hanging out with the gremlins when I was like wandering off and shit. Um, so, uh, I found Karen. Um, and then, uh, let's see, where's my I picture of me and Karen? Where's, where's the one really good picture? Uh, Karen day is my name. Where's Karen? What's her name? Oh, don't worry about it. It's a secret to everybody. I thought, I thought your name was Zunder. Well, that's what you get for thinking. We don't pay you to think, pal. So Maybe. there's me and Karen hanging out, and she's uh, she's wearing the the hat that Nine made for her. And then there's there's another picture of me and Karen. That's later in the week when we are both very tired. I'm very very tired by this point, but got to hang out with Karen quite a bit. And so that was, that was really, really nice. Um, cause you know, she's just, she's just an absolute delight. Um, so a jury duty screen once has, Oh, a bladed weapon. Oh yeah. Oh Jesus. That's, isn't that lovely, Tay? Isn't that just fucking delightful? Grumble, grumble. Uh, anyway, uh, so, uh, you know, I'm like, hey, what are we going to go? Uh, what are we going to go do? And so I'm like, have you heard from nine this morning? She's like, yeah, I talked to her earlier. Let's see, let's find out where she is. So uh, she messages nine. Nine's over at the Starlight booth. Uh, so because the Lego stuff and the theater are all down the one end. I, I got to hoof it back down to the other end of the expo hall. Right. So I get down, we get down there and nine's talking. Um, Amish is at the, the starlight booth doing his, like, like his, he's, he's doing his work in the booth duty and like nine sees me. All right. This goblin, she sees me. She screams at the top of her lungs she jumps at me for a hug and like ends up with like, she, like she just, rah! and she like gets me and like my hair's down. So she ends up like eating my goddamn hair. She's like, I'm eating your hair. She's like, well, your hair's in my mouth. I'm like, well, that's what you get for jumping at me. And so nine was excited to see me. And that's when she gave me one of her balls. Um, so yes, absolutely. Zunder hair pasta. Yes, exactly. It's like angel hair, but very, very much different. You picking angel up Viv hair. when you saw him the first time? That's that sounds about right. Hidden that that tracks for you and Viv. That tracks. Yeah. Um. So, uh, hung out with nine. We did this. So we did this competition at the booth. Um, 
So the different streamers that were working, they had different games that they were playing, like minute to win it kind of things, right? So you have 60 seconds, you have a little game, um, they explain the rules of the game, and then uh, whoever wins at the end gets a prize. So um, me, Nine, and Karen end up competing against each other, and our game is we have we we take a spoon, right? And there are all these dice out on a table. And what we have to do is, with the spoon in our mouth, whoever has the highest stack of dice in the spoon at the end of a minute wins. It doesn't matter how many you stack up prior to the end. If they all fall at like second 59, doesn't matter. Whoever has the highest stack at the end of the minute. Uh, so let's see. Um, <clears throat> so at the end of it, everybody gets a little prize. So I got a, like they had like a bunch of like um, little inflatable instrument things. So I got, I got me a little guitar. It's got a strap and everything. So love my little guitar that I got. Uh, I gotta, I gotta blow that up. Um, but uh, because I am, I am not an amateur. I am a professional. I won. And so not only did I uh, get that, let me see, let me just start dumping shit out so I can find everything. There we go. Not only did I win, this was the spoon that I won with, by the way. I won with this spoon right here. Um, I also got a beanie, a stream for starlight beanie. It's all like neon and stuff. Look how, look how bright, look how shiny. Ooh. I'll put this over here with my Project Hope beanie. Uh, but I also got a Polaroid of me. Uh, and it's really hard to see because it's a Polaroid, but that's me and Amish. Um, and I've got the beanie there. Like, the beanie actually stands out. And then they got a little uh, QR code on the back to join the Starlight uh, Discord. But yeah, so... Got me a little commemorative uh, uh, Polaroid from that, which was really, really cool, which I really I enjoyed that. Um, so yeah, that was, that was really fun. Um, and then after that, like most of that day was just like hanging out with friends and stuff, uh, seeing, um, seeing folks. Let me see. Where's that? Let's see. Where's that picture? Oh yeah. There we go. So this is the picture of... Uh, this is MX Northwest. That's Matt and Hilti with their makeup all did. Like, look at that. Look how, look at, like, just the fierceness in those eyes. And then look at this. Look at this beautiful man right here. Look, that's, that's my roomie right there. Just absolutely gorgeous. Stunning. Yeah. If I did yours, Julian Heather did Matt's. Nice. Nice. It's just... Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. Love it. Just wonderful. So, uh, yeah. Um, and then we, uh, from that point, like a lot of it was just hanging out with folks, um, going and seeing stuff. Uh, there were a couple of sessions that I got to, um, not not a whole lot. There were a couple of community meetups that I went to. I did specifically go for the um oh what was it? Um was it the science and technology meetup that I went to? Maybe. I think so. Um And like I, I kept running into people like Nine and Karen and stuff and that kind of stuff. Because again, they know a lot of those folks. Um, just from kind of like that stuff being all interwoven and things like that. Um, yeah, yeah, it was just fun to meet a lot of new people. Um, I got to hang out with a lot of friends that I know from Twitch. Um, and then, yeah, <gasps> look, look at these stickers from one cashmere feline. Look at that. A little sticker sheet from her that was really cool, and that's her. That's her pepper dog scout. Mm. 
Yeah. That's that's Scout. He's a very good boy. Very, very good boy. He's a good boy. He's just a good boy. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, in our little, like, welcome bags and stuff, they had a couple of things. Uh, they had... So they actually had an interesting thing at the loot cave. Uh, so DoorDash had a setup at the loot cave uh, where you could you we got these little cards in our bags. Uh, if you were a Dash Pass member, you have like their monthly thing. You could skip the line, and they had like a separate checkout line for Dash Pass folks, which was nice. Uh, but they also had lockers that you could rent for free that you could just go and claim, say, hey, show them like I have Dash Pass, and they're like, cool. Um, here's your locker assignment and your combination, you know, have fun. Um, so you could like get your stuff from the loot cave, walk right outside the exit, put your, your swag into a locker and then come back and grab it at the end of the day, which was really, really nice. Um, so that was cool. Um, escape from Tarkov had like a, a big ass fucking setup there. Um, and then they have like. Uh, their new escape from Tarkov, huh? I guess they're unbanned again. They're what? Unbanned. Oh, oh, oh. Um, and they have like a new uh, arena thing, so they had like a promo code to try out um, their new arena. I don't know if it's like a game mode or something. I don't know. Uh, Sony in Zone had a thing there, which they had a card where you could go and get like a. Uh, I think they had like a little, a miniature, like a, a tiny discount that you could get from their booth. But they, they mocked their card up like a, like a stream with the chat and everything. Let's see. Yes, he hangs out in the chair during stream. Um, Cashmere Feline's Dog Scout. He'll just, he'll just sit in the background. It's really cute. He's a good boy. Um, I got more Project Hope stickers. So I got like a bunch of Project Hope stuff. Uh, let's see. One of the other things that they gave us in our welcome bag was uh, we got we got purple shoelaces because, you know, TwitchCon. So we got purple shoelaces and then they have like the little Twitch glitch uh, on them. So like you could, you know, if you wear shoes with laces, you could have a little Twitch glitch on your shoelaces, on your purple shoelaces, which is pretty, pretty all right. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got some hand sanitizer from the Starlight booth. Let's see what else we got here. What is this? Uh, I got a pin for Project Hope's Project Hope Miss for this year, which is really neat. Like I ran out of places to put pins. It was kind of wild. Um, you loaded up on Flare, you say? I did. I did load up on Flare. It was great. Um, there was also like um, cards uh, for joining for uh, stream for Starlight and then joining the Discord and stuff like that too. So I got. That again, I spent a lot of time at the Starlight booth. Um, sure, it doesn't it doesn't show. No, no, not not at all. Um, Did you tell them about your thirty ninety? <laughs> I'm not taking you to a meat fountain anymore. Um, this is my seven days to die. This is the uh, the lanyard that uh, Hilsey was talking about earlier. Um, clean yeah it's very nice i didn't i didn't think you would want a lanyard so like if you want it you can have it but i didn't think you would have a use for a lanyard tom uh i mean i don't particularly have a use for one now yeah that's what i that's kind of what i figured so if you want it you can have it like i'm never going to use yeah. this but i i'll save it for you if you'd like sure i'll take it all right it'll be in the next shipment oh yeah uh let's see um Hope for the day was there. They had a booth um, right in front of like the donor drive stuff. Um, so hope for the day. It's okay not to be okay. I got a little wristband from them, which was really nice. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else. Um, um, I got a card from from Steph, who I talked to at the Trans Lifeline booth, which is that's gonna go over here. So I remember that. Let's see what else we got. What else we got? Um, oh, this was also in our little welcome bag. Uh, so Alienware had a booth and you could trade in the card for a raffle, um, which I don't even know 
what the raffle was for. Hilsey, what was the raffle for? Do you know? Do you remember? I don't remember. Uh, I didn't. I didn't do it. I don't need any of that stuff right now. Um. Let's see what else we got. You do? Yeah. Okay. I don't. I don't know either. It was just like raffle for Alienware stuff. I'm like, I don't. I don't need any of that. But thank you. Um. I mean, what? Yeah. Well. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, someone, I, I don't know who it was cause like I, they, it has their like little logo on it. Um, but they, they gave it a D 20. So I have a new D 20, which is fun. Uh, let's see. Uh, Amish was giving out a bunch of things. So this is all of his swag. He had like these little baggies for with his card in it, a little QR code, which was, I thought was really neat. Um, so this is the one that came that the, uh, the key ring came in and then I got the set of like, uh, the regular Amish sticker. So it's got like some star Wars themed stuff and like his, uh, his like custom minifig design, which is really cool. So Tom, I figured you would appreciate that. That looks pretty neat. Oh, oh that is neat. Yeah. It's so it's a little, uh, Mandalorian helmet. Yeah. Yeah. He's got a little, little porg up on his shoulder there. So, Oh yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, nice touch. Yeah, and then uh, he also had uh, some uh, holographic stickers, and so there's the one with like the 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 Mando helmet and everything on there, which is really nice. You know, Tay, do you know how many people have been asking me to do tabletop on stream or otherwise for a while now? And I'm boy, howdy, am I considering getting back into it? I haven't done a tabletop game in over twenty years. Uh, what else we got here? What else we got here? Um, At least this game's on the floor. Yeah, that's true. I do. Um, let's see. <gasps> there's one of there's one of Karen's stickers. So I got a Crafty Illusion sticker with her little QR code on the back. Hidden, if you hidden, if you say Fortnite, I swear to God. Oh, did you see they're uh, they're bringing back the season one map? Uh, I that's the rumor. I don't know. Did they confirm that it's going to be the season one map? Like a, a lot of season one stuff keeps showing back up, or chapter one, chapter one. I was I don't know if it was a confirmation, but I was seeing something about it. Yeah, I saw that. You'll DM me. Okay, all right, that works. Uh, Honey Heist is surprisingly successful one page RPG. Uh, you have a complex plan that requires precise timing. I'm a goddamn bear. Well, I'm. I already have one of those. Actually, I have two of those. Technically, technically, because my stream is set up as a complex plan with precise timing. The the chuckle fucks can confirm. Uh, let's see. There's where I got my little pin from. They had like the little thing from Starlight with the pin on it. Which is really cool. Uh, what else we got here? Do, do, do. I'm trying to, like, before I go... Someone was giving out Goose Goose Duck pins. So I have a Goose Goose Duck pin now. Which is pretty funny. I constantly confuse that and Duck Duck Go. Oh, yeah. Duck Duck Go searches for things. Goose Goose Duck is murder. Hope this helps. Is that what you call your accountants? Nice. Um, yeah, someone like, someone kind of like randomly had it and walked up to me. Uh, oh, this is another, this is another one of Maggie's pins that she gave me. Draskia. Uh, let's see. What else we got here? Do, 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 do. Uh, oh. Maggie, because she's... Ever the professional, she's been doing this a while. More Maggie stickers. Um, someone had an, a, a spare Able Gamer sticker, so now I have two. <laughs> Actually, which one? Well, these are the same style, so <laughs> I have two Able Gamer stickers now. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, some fucking frog guy, I don't know. I don't know, it's the 
Heilt Steer? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know that guy. Certainly nobody in my chat that I roomed with this weekend. Pfft, that would be preposterous. This is ridiculous. Um, let's see. Someone, uh, I got another friendship bracelet from someone, so it says Valentine on it. It's all, like, pink and stuff. Um, and it's got a little, it's got a little mini duck on it. And it also has a pride flag heart sticker inside, which is really cute. So came a little, little bundly here, which is really adorable. Let's see what else we got going on down here. Um, somehow on the, uh, Oh, what's this? God, how much shit did Maggie give me? Jesus Christ. Uh, this is more Maggie stickers and a magnet. Good Lord, she did bring everything. A Maggie net. A Maggie net. Yes, uh, that's it. I'm I'm telling her that's what they're called now. Um, let's see what else we got here. Okay, we're we're starting to get through some of this. Uh, so. One of the people that was working the Starlight booth and uh, spent actually a lot of time there, a uh, good friend of Nine's, uh, her name is Quill Tony. Let me... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Tony's great. Um, so, she does a lot of sewing and stuff. Um, Imagine like the sewing and fiber art stuff that Nine does, that like that realm, but swears like a sailor like me. And that's Tony's channel. She's fantastic. She's wonderful. You don't fucking swear. I don't fucking does she swear. Do, does she do any reaping? <sighs> Get out. <laughs> to which Tom replies, no. Was was a question. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I'm inquisitive by nature. This is this is a different type of sewing. The ones with the threads and the needles, not the oh. not the haha -ha yes and then the later oh shit. So I got a uh, I got one of Tony's quilt stickers, which is really cool. Um, let's see. So there was. In the extreme back, like behind the the glitch theater and the Lego stuff and everything, uh, was Artist Alley. Um, Crocs, I think, sponsored it. Crocs had a booth there. Um, but like Artist Alley is where folks could go and like set up booths and sell all their their merch, pins and stickers and prints and all that kind of shit. Um, so there's this guy, uh, Paul Pape Designs. Uh, he, he was sharing a booth with someone, um, who in Paul's stuff was incredible. Uh, so he does like custom woodwork and prop work and shit like that. One of the things that I saw that was really absolutely fucking cool it's like 750 bucks, but he custom builds an entire like miniature arcade cabinet, comes with a screen built in, comes with a custom Xbox controller that he also does the design work for, and he works with you on the design and everything. But it's built in such a way to where it perfectly fits an Xbox Series S in the back of it. So you can take the top off, put the Series S in, it connects to the screen, and of course the controller and everything, the controller dock on it and all. Um, but he'll do it to whatever design specifications you want. So you work with him, get, like basically build your own miniature Xbox arcade cabinet. Really, really fucking cool. Um, but the thing that really caught my eye and uh, Bean wants, even though I, I don't have that kind of disposable income right now, he made this. So this thing right here, um, he made this himself. This is actually a button down here that will turn the light in the, the orb on and off 
depending on how you want to ponder the orb. Um, but this is Merlin's Talisman from Halloween Town. If anybody remembers the Disney Channel original movie, Halloween Town, uh, this was like a centerpiece prop of that movie. So um, that's really, really cool. You're right. Hidden, Hidden, Hidden recognizes this. She knows what's up. Uh, this was really cool. Like, I love seeing this. This was absolutely just wild. The, like the quality and detail. It was $300. Don't get me wrong. Well worth it. But, um, you know, just absolutely stunning. Absolutely. They poured soup into it. They, that's right. They did. Um, and then they have like, like he has this little Hylian shield over here. The Hylian shield box for 40 bucks. You know, I mean, I don't know anybody that likes that, but the can Canadian they, shield. No, no, Zam, real dollars, not, not Canadian moose Plastic bucks. Dollars. <laughs> moose bucks. <laughs> They're moose bucks. What do you want from me? So, bucks. instant soup wasn't good enough. That's right. They had to make real soup. Apology quarters. Uh, Zam, in, in like real talk, uh, what are what is three hundred bucks American in Canada? Like fucking. 450 420 tree tree fitty something like that i don't know about 500 jeez it real 1.37 okay so so almost actually that's like 420 let's see 300 times 1.37 411 so close pretty pretty damn close depends on fees and taxes all right that's fair that's fair um, but that was really cool. Um, that was a really cool booth. Um, so, and he was sharing a booth with someone that made like custom mugs f that had just all kinds of shit on them, like from different lore and shit like that. Like really, really cool stuff. I convinced Karen to buy a mug there cause we were walking around artist alley together at the time. Um, so that was really neat. So uh, you mugged Karen. No, they mugged Karen. I just convinced, I just convinced them to do the mugging. Uh, let's see. Uh, someone gave me like PNY had like their accelerate gaming thing and they gave me this sticker. I, I, I don't fucking know what it is, but it's cool. It's got a little PNY. Is that the, is that the insert for a flashlight? I, I fucking, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know what it is. It's a sticker. <gasps> Helps you go get cozy, buddy. Thanks for the lurk. I don't fucking know <laughs> what it is. Um, well, I know what I'm going to choose to believe it is. I know you. I know you are, pal. I would expect nothing less. Uh, let's see who else. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, do, do, do. I'm just trying to get like organized here because there was there's just all kinds of stuff. Um, and we're in an ad break, so it gives me a second to kind of like figure shit out. Whilst we do a commerce. Whilst we do a commerce, yeah. Um, oh, I did also, uh, what else? Let's see. There's his stuff. Um, let's see. There we go. I'm just I, like I have so many stickers and cards and shit. It's great. I love it. Oh my! Huh. Stickers and cards and shit. Oh my! Um. Let's see. Do, 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 do. This one. That's okay. Um, someone had a, like, they got custom poker chips made, which was really cool. Um, disco duck, it looks like, you yeah. know, um, so that's really cool. I thought about getting some of like those custom coins made. God, those things are expensive, but that would be so cool to have those. I would just have to figure out what to like put on them, you know? And like, we would, we could all have like a set of them. Like we could all have one. That'd be really cool, I think. 
Oh my God, I just had an idea I'm going to talk to you two about afterwards. Write that down. Are we, I'm in Wait. danger. We're supposed to be writing something down? No, I'll write it down. It's fine. No, the, the bot just, I, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, okay. Uh, I got a, I got one of nine's, one of her actual cards, you know, with a, with a chicken doing, you know, yarn stuff. Cause if, if that's not nine's brand, I don't know what is. And also a little, uh, a little demon chicken sticker, because once again, if that's not nine's brand, I don't know what is. God damn it, Tom. I love that like I love that when on my to do's on my to do's when it went because what happens is the to do has the bot message me on discord and it's like it always has like all of my firebot messages come with like firebot at the beginning so I know it came from the bot and it has to do with the message and then in parentheses it put who put it so it's like to do penis ocarina of Tom <laughs> Zamothy what and why don't I Zam, I love you. So Saturday morning, hey, Saturday morning, I have I have breakfast with Zam. Oh, I'm gonna do this right now. We're doing this right the fuck now. What penis? No. Um, um you're overdue. Giggity. Uh so I had breakfast with uh Zam nine and uh pearl whirls who is one of zam's mods and she's just an absolute fucking delight yeah i will not only am i going to shout you out i'm going to shout out at you so here's what happened so we go to breakfast on saturday morning we go to the um one of the buffets the one at the uh uh the excalibur right and so uh have breakfast with with nine and zam and pearl and we finally make it to the con First of all, getting to the con that morning was a absolute fucking shit show. So not only was TwitchCon and other various events happening in Vegas that weekend, but Saturday and Sunday were also the While We Were Young Festival, or When We Were Young, the When We Were Young Festival, um, which was like a just this it, just ridiculous roster of bands. Um, Let's see. Yeah, when we were young, festival had like Green Day, Blink One Eighty Two, Thirty Seconds to Mars, The Offspring, Good Charlotte, uh, Something Corporate, Motion City Soundtrack, Rise Against, Thrice, Pierce the Veil, Clint, Jim Class Heroes, like that. Some Forty One, Simple Plan, Yellow Card, like all these these fucking bands that a bunch of us listened to back in like the nineties and two thousands, right? Vegas was overrun with people going to this fucking show. Like I had people, like I had, I had people messaging me cause I posted on my Instagram story about, um, the, uh, um, about being at TwitchCon and a buddy of mine that I used to work with, he messaged me. He's like, holy shit, I'm in town for the festival. And so that's something that Hiltzy and I were doing was like, as people were getting onto the monorail every day, we were playing a game of, are they going to TwitchCon or the festival, TwitchCon or festival? And we were pretty good at it. Um, so that was fun. Uh, but this particular Saturday morning, which was the first day of the festival was absolutely and it, it was a shit show. So we went to go catch the monorail at the MGM Grand. The line for the monorail, the platform was full. And I think there was something where like the monorail was like fucked up or something. They only had like one door of the f like four or five cars running. But like the platform was full. There was a line coming down going... Na 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 na. Okay, no, I'm stopping. Um, came into the building like from outside, down like the escalators and, and stairs and shit, into the building, down the down one hallway, past where you can like the ticketing like desk for the monorail, and then 
out like down past a bunch of shops and restaurants and shit almost into the casino just just a stupid number of fucking people that are waiting in line to go to both the festival and twitchcon um so oh no so we instead of it's Instead of doing the the monorail that day, I'm like, fuck this. I'm just paying for us a lift because I'm not going to stand here for hours trying to get to the con. So we take a lift, and it still ended up being a while before we got there. Um, so we took the lift. We've been trying, trying to use the, the tickets. Oh, the tickets are not hard. You buy ticket, you scan ticket, you walk through the thing, it's done. It's not fucking hard. Um, so we end up going and uh, getting a lift. Uh, we some ticket machines didn't work. Yeah, but like, it wasn't. It sh it wouldn't. That wouldn't have made it that backed up, Zam. Like some of the ticket machines not working fine, but that you have to admit, Zam. You know, they were fucking. A thousand, like literally a thousand fucking people waiting for that fucking monorail that morning. Oh, yeah, you have to have tickets for the monorail, Tani. Yeah. Yeah, you either have to have a ticket or a pass. One or the other. Yeah, that was the first station on the, the fucking thing. Because it goes from like the MGM Grand and it's got a bunch of stops and it like it goes just past the convention center. The MGM Grand was the first first stop which means there's nobody on there when that thing shows up and like the line was just outrageous so we're like okay we're, we're not we're not doing this um so we go and um we go out to the side to go wait for a lift um and we're like all right we're gonna we're going to go do this. Like, let's just, let's just get a ride and go over there, which it still took a little while, but like not nowhere near what it would have taken us to do the monorail that day. So we go outside and, uh, nine and Zam run into somebody they know. Uh, and that is, let's see, I'll shut him out real quick. Uh, that's arrow Garfield 29. And he actually had, he also had custom poker chips that he had made for the con which is really cool. So, uh, that was really fantastic. Um, so he ended up sharing a, uh, 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 a lift with us over to the convention because he was waiting on one and his was still several minutes out for some reason. Um, so yeah, plucky tags along with him and his family go to happy world land. On the mail, there's chores. What, yeah, T yeah, Tay, uh, me, me and Zam, me and Zam were just sitting there. Like, every time somebody said monorail, this is, me and Zam would go monorail, 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 monorail. And Nina's is like, What are you two doing? And we're like, It's a it's from The Simpsons. She's like, oh, I should know that. I'm like, Yes, you should. Um, so, uh, we ended up riding, we all got a lift together with with Eric Garfield and that was a fun, fun time. Um, so, oh, the Aria tramp. Gotcha. Gotcha, Tani. Um, so we go and we finally get to the convention center. We walk in the door and by this point it's like 11, maybe like 11, 1130, something like that. So, you know, there's no line to get into the con, the con and everything. And, uh, we, we walk in and uh like me and nine like zam and zam and arrow got pictures outside together and me and nine walk in and zam finally walks in behind us and uh zam's like okay see you next monorail monorail uh zam zam looks at me and he goes all right see you see you never again and so he starts walking off and we are in the very front of the convention center, big open like atrium area. And I go, Zam! And he looks at me and he just looks at me and he has like this defeated look on his face because he knows what's coming. And I go, Zam, I love you! And it echoes throughout the entire fucking place. 
And he just looks at me and he just shakes his head and he walks away. And uh, that well, was that was that was the first time I embarrassed Sam in public that day. Gratitude for you, right? Right. Uh, monorail. Uh, you have an otter print on you right now. Oh, he's such a good boy. Oh, he's such a good boy. The otter. Back when the Simpsons was still funny, which was like twenty-five to thirty years ago. Yeah, it's it's been a while. Listen, if a television show. If the Golden Girls can reference a television show, and this is a show that has not been on the air in 30 years, if that show can reference a TV show, maybe your show that's still running, maybe it's run its course. Maybe. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so... Uh, that's when Zam says, Zam's like, yep, seen, you know, I'll never see you again. And he wanders off. So later in the morning, or I guess early afternoon, whatever, um, I'm hanging out over at the, uh, the Lupus Foundation booth and, and Zam, Zam wanders by with Amish Ace and on Amish's wife. Um, so they're all hanging out and I'm like, Hey, remember when you said you'd never see me again? He's like, yeah, so that was fun. And then later in the after, even, even further in the day to the day, uh, I ran into Zam again. This is, this is the third time this day I've seen Zam by this point. And, uh, that was the third time I had crabs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and he's hanging out with a couple of folks. Uh, one of them is, uh, Wappy TV. Uh, so Wappy does all kinds of stuff. Um, he does, he's a DJ, he's a photographer. Um, and of course he streams, but he's also a developer and he's, uh, worked on a couple of like really, uh, cool bots that a lot of folks use on Twitch. Um, so, uh, Wappy's really, really cool dude. We got to hang out and meet him. And then, uh, let me, let me shout out Wappy real quick. Do, 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 do. Shout out Wappy. Oh, he was playing City Skylines too. Oh God, I've boy howdy, I've heard that's a mixed bag. Um, yeah, I haven't downloaded. I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, so I, it game runs pass. like absolute garbage. Yeah, that's like that's. If you have a low end PC, it's it's maybe maybe not ready for you yet. What if uh, what if you have a thirty ninety? I don't. I don't know. I, mean, like I, I would have to know someone. Like I said, if you have a low end PC. Wow. 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 Maybe maybe people yeah. with maybe people with twenty series cards shouldn't throw I don't know, whatever. I don't. Oh you have, you have a ten series, don't you? I have a thirty seventy TI. When did you get that? Reverse! Last year? Reverse! Whatever, mine's still better. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Shut up. Shut up. Nobody cares. Mine's still mine's still prettier. Or whatever. As I'm driving like sure four it's, screens. I don't know. Sure it's very big and impressive. <laughs> I was gonna say, of course you you're gonna talk about how large and girthy yours is. I didn't say those that is not a word that I used. You used that word I so you insinuated. Mm -hmm. mm. Anyway, um, and then hanging out with Zam and Wappy uh, was uh, Trina Castillo. I, I don't know. I don't know if we've ever rated Trina or not. Oh, because because uh, Tani, because uh, somebody already redeemed it. It's a it's it's a once per stream. So it's it's already been redeemed once this stream. It was like at the very beginning. Lolly did it. So Lolly ruined it for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. welcome. Yeah. Um, so uh, I got to meet Trina and I got a couple of stickers. So there's one of her stickers with the tentacle. There's another one with her wearing her headphones. And then she has like her own custom magic card. So it's Trina the Octopus Queen. 
Uh, let's see. And um, it's also got like, it's got her name on the back, which is really cool. So, yeah, it's really, really cool. So, um, with, under her name, it says Dick Master is what it says, Zam. It says, it says Dick Master is what it says. That's what it says. What does that mean? I don't, I, I, I couldn't tell you, pal. So... Trina is Trina is just an absolute goddamn delight. She's such a sweetheart. Like I walk up to them and I'm wearing my mask and so like she's she's all dressed up and doing the cosplay thing. Um where is Trina is good people. She really is. Uh where is I have a picture somewhere. Um Did it save? I hope it... God, I hope it did. Uh, there's... I'm just trying to find it now, right now. Got to figure out where the fuck it is. But I got a picture of uh, me and Trina, and like her cosplay is just like she always does amazing stuff. But like this is like exceptionally good. Sort by date. The okay, I guess it's not in here. I don't know where it is. Pharisees, Pharisees, holy shit, thank you for the $50 to Trans Lifeline. We are now over $4,500. $4,505.69. Pharisees, thank you so much, friend. That is incredibly generous. Um, that's, the, that's the one from six. I might have to just show you on my phone because I have it saved. I just. Oh, I wonder if I can pull it up instead of having to dig through it there. Because she sent it to me on Instagram. Come on. Oh, it's, it's, are you going to really do the, you going to do the low res version? Is that what you're going to do? Fucking, of course. Okay. Well, anyway, this is, there's the picture of, of me and Trina together. Her all did it up with her, her cosplay, which was really, really good. So that was a fun, fun time. I tell you, I have four. Four. There are four screens. There's the TV back here. There's the program monitor over here, which is the preview of what's going out to all of you out in TV land. There's this down here, which has like OBS, typically a game if I'm playing um, my stream manager and Twitch, and then Discord is over here. So I've got I've I'm I'm just screens everywhere. Um. So yeah. Got to hang out with, got to meet Trina, which was fun. Um, Zam went up to the the partner lounge uh, at one point, like while we were hanging out with like me, him, Trina, and Wappy. So he goes up to the partner lounge, which is on the third floor. So as he's going up the escalator, I look at I uh, that kid is back. back. On the escalator. There was somebody at one point that was sitting on one of the escalators going down, and that's exactly what I thought about Tom. That 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 played in my head. Fucking some some dude was just sitting on the fucking escalator going down. I'm like, you don't sit on the fucking escalator. Um. So, um. 
so Zam starts to go up the escalator to go up the third floor to the partner lounge. And uh, I go, I go, hey, should we embarrass Zam? And they're like, yeah, obviously. So I go, I look up the escalator where Zam's going up and I go, Zam! Zam, I love you! And Whoppy, he turns and looks at Zam. He goes, I want to have your babies! And I go, I don't love you that much! <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty great. Um, sit in the elevator. Oh, God. Oh, God. So, yeah. And then Zam came back down a couple minutes later, and that was the fourth time I saw Zam. And that was the last time I've ever seen Zam ever. Forever. Um, let's see. Uh, who else? Uh, okay. Um, so when I was in the loot cave, there was some cool stuff in the loot cave, but like none of it was really, none of it really like called out to me. Um, and it was expensive cause it's a loot cave. Like they're going to get you in there and then it's like, look at all this pretty stuff. It's $30 for a t-shirt. And I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but uh, we get in line for the loot cave. This was on Friday, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. We're in line for the loot cave. Um, and we, we end up, and if you were in the Discord, you've already seen this. But we end up in line near someone. And I'm, I look and I'm like, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Uh, Sir Rogers. No, no, that would have been amazing. And so I'm like, I I have to do this at some point, don't I? And Hiltzy's like, Yeah, you do, you do. So we get into the loot cave and we're wandering around looking at stuff and everything because it's like at this point it's like me and the gremlins are hanging out in the loot cave, and uh, I see this person again, and I'm like, Son of a bitch, I'm gonna have to, aren't I? And I'm like, Hiltzy, do I have to go? Should I, should I, should I, and he's like, yes, you absolutely should. And I posted this in discord and I'm like, I really shouldn't do this for you fucking degens. But I, I did. There was someone in Bowsette cosplay. Bowsette cosplay. No, no. Right. Oh, I mean, I know there's no beard, but. You know, uh-huh. Uh-huh. So yeah. Their best. Yep. So there was, there you go. Hiltzy really wanted me to go up and do like the fucking Dragon Ball Z like fusion thing. Yeah, the fusion pose. Yeah. Of course he did. Of course he did. Of course he did. So. That would have uh. required you to bend in ways that I'm not sure bears bend. No, bears did do not. You, uh, bears do not bend that way. I can confirm. So did you have to explain the whole bit to her? No. Or did you did you just sort of present yourself like a horny fanboy? No, I was just like, hey, that's really good cosplay. You mind if I get a picture? There you go. And they're like, sure, yeah, what the hell? Why not? And so I did, and it was great. Hidden Tom doesn't know how to interact with people. You're making a lot of assumptions about his 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 interacting with people. Um, oh, I don't think I ever showed you this. Lolly, I went to show you this. Uh, guess who else had like a big booth in their own little mini stage? Genshin did. People were walking around with like fucking Genshin bags and shit. This is about but right. This is like they a, gave out free stuff. They were giving like out game. They were like giving out all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Here, get a. I don't know whatever the fuck you get in that game. Yeah. Your uh, your people, face mostly. Your face is a Genshin Zam. Yeah, get wrecked. You should have shown her the Zalzet photo. God. God. It matters, Sam. Not big enough titties in there for you. That's true. That's that's very true. Yeah, <clears throat> it is not. It is not uh, anime in titty game gym. enough for for Zam. Correct. There, yeah. There's only there's only a few few. Well, there's a, there's a lot of anime titties. I there, are, I mean, there are, but like not nearly as much as his like his his Nikkei game. They're like 
normal sized though if that makes sense like ice bear needs it for everyday like hustling the, yeah. gi the giant stereotypical anime titties. they're they're yeah they're yeah yeah they're they're more believable uh excuse me ever first of all how dare you second of all reverse no you reverse. and third suck it nerd get there shouted out again uh the first thing was how dare she that's that was the uh, first yeah, yeah. yeah that was the first what one. was the last one um suck it nerd i think was the last one great yeah you're welcome you're welcome uh, ever yeah. ever thank you for two months of tier one love you bunches go follow ever she is a she's a goddamn delight and she's been playing 14 lately she just finished a realm reborn i watched her get credits for a realm reborn just this week um i'm totally not playing that right now find the chuckles to I be a bit on the quiet side yeah i turned the chuckles down just a smidge just a oh, smidge oh i see how it is yeah yeah unbelievable yeah really is it that un us. is it that unbelievable ridiculous i mean I in fairness liked it. tom is also very gummied up so he's a little quieter than usual tonight anyway so how dare you i just said it i just fucking said it how dare you. i'll fucking do it again yeah oh yeah tom's tom's got the good gummies they are they are driving that boat he's like meh, meh. such um ever i love you thank you again for the resub uh so anyway that was one person that i saw in the loot cave but then i'm sitting i'm like i'm i'm wandering around i'm looking at stuff and like i'm 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 in a bin looking at like you know seeing stuff and i look over and there's someone at the, like the bin next to me looking at, at stuff and i look up and who do i see but ilana orama and so her and her husband were there and she gave me one of her this is fine stickers which is just phenomenal is it fun no zam was not there zam this was this was before zam abandoned me because this was still on friday um wait she was streaming food and drink. what was she what was she making what did i miss now i have to go see because i'm nosy Oh yeah, yeah, it's soup season. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. She's making soup. Soup. I it was wabbit season. No, it's duck season. Wabbit season. Duck season. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long I can realistically keep that bit up. That's fair. That's <laughs> fair. Um let's see. Who else yeah, did I see? Three minutes. Yeah. It's nice. It was turkey season, also, yes. Um another one of the uh, sciencey folks that I got to meet, uh, Astro Canuck, um, who is good friends with like Karen and Nine and, and that whole crew. Uh, Astro Canuck is fantastic. Um, he's actually, he's, he's yet another Canadian. I know so many Canadians now. Why do I know all of these Canadians now? Um, but, uh, Astro Canuck was, uh, he actually he was he had like a a telescope he was like up on a mountain um i don't even know where uh last night i think it was and uh had some really great shots of of through his telescope which was really cool but i got these um like these really cool i got the 3d glasses which was really neat so oh sorry e uh, by the way, um, for those of you who haven't heard Hiltzy say it or, or haven't started watching him yet, which you sh why aren't you following Hiltzy? Get your fucking shit together. But also, uh, Hiltzy, being, no being Nova Scotian, is very oot in a boot. Very oot in a boot. He, he does the oots and the aboots, and it's adorable, and I love him for it. 
that what you love's about him? <laughs> Why don't you take about 15, 20% off there, Squirrely Dan? Uh. Um, it's, I didn't hear you drunk. It's much worse when you're drunk. I believe that. I believe that. Uh, another person that I got to meet, um, uh, speaking of uh, science folks, uh, is science, huh, like literally, science. Um, he does a lot of science, sciencey stuff, as his name implies. Um, but he actually was on a science panel uh, at TwitchCon, which, uh, I heard was really cool that I didn't get to make, but I, I really wanted to, it was actually on my list. And there was like, there was a bunch of stuff that overlapped together that I wanted to go to. So I kind of had to pick and choose, but, uh, he's got some, he's got some really cool, his, his ant stickers. These are the only ants that I accept in like, yeah, NASA was there. Yep. NASA was fucking there, which was really cool. Uh, let's see. What else we got going on here? Um, um, along that same vein, um, in that whole like group was also Nerduino, which love this sticker. Fucking love this. This is great. Like with the sparkle border and everything. Fantastic. Uh, let me get a shout out for Nerduino. There we go. Perfect. Um, let's see what else. What else we got here? Uh, yeah, and then like I got stickers from a bunch of other folks. Um, oh, uh, someone else I got a sticker from, and they they're also in the uh, the crafter. Um, I, I know the word here. Category, category, space, category, space. I don't know. Um, but like this sticker is just so freaking cute. Um, so this is May, and this is May's. These are May's two kitties, which okay, uh, like. Pixel kitties, come on, come on. Heart-shaped pixel kitty stickers. Like, amazing, amazing. May does a lot of sewing and stuff like that, so. Um, I got to, I got to catch just a smidge, like, I what was it, yesterday, I think? I think so anyway, but um, yeah, she's she loves to do the crafty majigs like so many of the folks that I know in that category. Um, there was somebody that was like going around in one of the, the groups um, and they were handing out just, just this little thing that I thought was just absolutely adorable. Um, and I gave them, they were wearing like, they were wearing a pride flag, like a cape. And so I gave them one of my stickers and like, they almost cried. I'm like, they're like, really? I'm like, yes, it's for, for you. Take the sticker. It's a sticker. Take the sticker. Um, Jesus Christ. Yes. I, I didn't just make 243,000 gil or anything. What did you sell? submarine stuff my dude oh, oh my god you and your <laughs> my my year-long investment so far is finally cut like i'm getting an roi on it finally jesus christ you and your fucking submarine shit man hey one of them's yellow don't I, knock it that's true that's true I'll, I'll give you that um let's see what else we got here i'm gonna see uh Got a couple more here. Uh, do, 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 
Uh, got a card from Rob Kovacs, who uh, does a lot of stuff with, um, like a lot of his music is featured on uh, Cashmere, Cashmere Feline's channel. So that's really cool. Uh, we were on the monorail at one point, and somehow I got into a conversation about Firebot. I think it's because I, I had my know how you would ever do that. Shut up! I had my developer pin on. Somebody asked me about it, and so this Nova Scotian motherfucker goes. What is what does he tell what does he tell the people in the uh the monorail about me, Lolly? Uh that you are the owner, CEO, and lead developer of Firebot? Because you you are a bad influence on him. All of you. You chuckle fox, you're bad influence on him. That is my son. And so he spreads this lie in like are riding along, and then somebody who's on the other side of these people, basic, yeah, uh huh. No, hidden, I'm fucking not. No, don't listen to the chuckle fucks. Rule number one the chuckle fucks lie. That's it, that's rule no, number one the chuckle fucks lie. Okay, never lied before in my life. No, you absolutely lie. Don't, that's that's a lie. Reverse. That's a lie. Reverse. Okay, first of all, second of all. And so, like, somebody who's on the other side of the people that I was talking to couldn't even see them, comes over and is like, hey, I heard you're the CEO of Firebot. Here, take this. And I'm like, and, like, they knew I, I wasn't, but, like, I did get a nice sparkly sticker out of it, which was pretty fun. So I got that. That was cool. See, um, you're welcome. Shut the hell up. Good thing. Good things happen your, because of the truths we spread. Your face happens. Um, but, like, I got more, um, like, more hearts and cartridges stickers. Like, just all kinds of stuff. Um, let's see. Someone had, like, a... Someone had a, uh, like, a robot head that they made. Uh, at the science and technology meetup, and so I got one of their stickers, which was really cool. Um, I got to meet several folks at the um, uh, the uh, trans community meetup, so I got like a couple of stickers here and a couple of cards here, which was really cool. It's fun because like the trans the trans meetup, um, and I, I think for a lot of like, you know, just for a various number of reasons, um, a lot of those folks do VTubing uh, and PNG tubing. So like, there was a lot of that there, which was really cool, and people were like showing off their their models and stuff to each other, which I thought was just all kinds of neat. Um. Someone who I know from the, like, I know her from, from both her, her VTuber stuff and also her, um, her tech stuff, uh, but Countess Lita, so she just actually just got a new model done, um, give her a shout out real quick. Uh, I got to see my buddy Chef Brent. Uh, so he does, he does, um, techie stuff. Uh, he works for Twilio, uh, who does like communication stuff. So, um, you can set up programmatic, like phone call systems and text response, things like that. Um, I thought about doing something fun with that at some point. Um, so that was pretty fun. Uh, let's see. Somebody else had a, a Spectre Flight Gaming, had like a Mando helmet on, on their card, and then like like that was that was really cool. Love that. Uh, let's see. Uh, I got a card from someone who is a a game developer. I met at the developer meetup, so that's really cool. 
I'm going to check that out later. Um, again, someone from the, like the science and technology stuff, um, they do gaming, but they do like astrobiology, sharks, like just all kinds of cool shit that they're into, which is just wild. Um, let's see. I got a sticker from, uh, this, this little game dev company, Glossburn, which is really neat. They actually liked my little sparkle sticker. They wanted something. Oh, you know, Moo? Okay. Well, if... She's recently got pardoned. Nice. All right, well then I'll give her a shout out. Do do do. Mahoodles. Perfect. Um, and I'll wait for the uh, the shouty out imajig to refresh so I can I can click the button. Uh, let's see. There's, let's see, there's Brent's thing. Um, where is, uh, I'm just, I'm just kind of like cleaning up at this point. Cause there's, there's just so much stuff that I got from so many people. It was phenomenal it was so great i'm actually putting stuff back in the bag now and i don't think i think there's still a couple of things that like might have just ended up in my bag and stuff that aren't in here um i gotta go through all of this at some a little bit more of this at some point uh let's see Do 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 Um. Actually, this is this is actually one of the more unique things. I got a coaster, uh, from someone from Imsiety. Um, I haven't been able to check out their stuff yet, but I need to go follow them so I can. At some point. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see. Oh, she's playing Disney Dreamlight Valley right now. Nice. Oh, I did follow her. Okay, okay. I can give her a shout out real quick. Just real quick. <clears throat> Here's Mahoodles, the shout out up in the chat there, or the top of chat. We'll see, like... Uh... This is why I go hidden. This is why I go. So, you know, you can hear about all these stories of like, cool, I didn't have to go to that and have to be around all these people. I loved it. I loved it. And like, again, this is something that I needed. I desperately needed this. Um, so this was like, this was a big deal for me. Um, let's see. Did we clear some, uh, Hilti say hi to Claire. Taylor said hi. Um, oh, going back to the Lego folks. I got, I have Fred's thing here. I got to follow, I got to follow Fred too. Um, you've followed so many people tonight. Yeah, I know, right? Um, Fred, Fred does uh, a lot of the Lego stuff. Um, and again, somebody I met through like Nine and Karen and that whole group, like they know so many of the Lego people. It's it's wild, but 
Um, another person who has like, he's, he's another person with like custom minifig art, which is just cool. Hey, focus. Thank you. Like, that's just really cool. And then I'm talking to my brain. That's Fred. Fred was cool. Real, real cool, dude. Face is cool. Yeah. Cool your face. Reverse. Reverse. Uh, let's see. Do 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 uh what else what else um let's find ball oh um let me go here real quick Um, somebody else that I met again through like all the, the creator and, and all that, the, the makers and crafting stuff, uh, is Ian Douglas 736. He's, he's the one that I got the, the 3d printed, uh, little keychain on my thing here. Um, he does like 3d printing. He does, uh, coding and shit like that. So, you know. Uh, if you like the if you like the the techie part of the stuff that I do, uh, you like Ian. He's he's really cool. He was really cool to meet. Um, he actually printed out this like this this he printed this dragon and like it was like like it was like a full motion dragon like it just kind of you could lay it however you wanted. Nine was wearing it around almost like a necklace. It was really fucking cool. It was really cool. Download a dragon. Oh, I would absolutely download a dragon. Absolutely, I would. It has uh, an egg, like a 3D printed egg. Uh huh. That has a 3D printed dragon in it. Ooh. That's really Very cool. Pretty. That's yeah. really cool. Here's the thing for Fred. Uh, what else have we got? Um, I want to see what, I think there's one last one. Let me go make sure I spell it correctly. Cause you, you know how, you know how usernames fucking get. Okay, that's like I always worry that I'm going to do it wrong because, like, so this is uh, someone from the Gremlin corner of the world, so like uh, Julia, Julia, and like Tay's communities and all that stuff. Um, hot fresh noodles, uh, or as we call them, nudes. He gave stickers and a pen, like a little noodle pen. Like this is just adorable. Love this. Love that. That was really cool. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think that's that's most of the stuff that I got. Um, there were a bunch more people that I met, but the one that I really like just fucking vibe with, you ever meet someone and you're like, why were we not hanging out before? Cause like you ran in the same circles and you just vibe with them. So again, this comes back to the fucking, um, the makers and crafting side of the world. Um, Kim for the day. If you like the vibe that we have here, boy, howdy, you will love hanging out with Kim. Uh, Kim is a fiber artist. Um, like, yarn is her life. Um, but Kim is, she is a goddamn delight. And, I, and again, 
me and the fucking Canadians, I've met every fucking Canadian this past weekend. I swear to God. Um, Kim is phenomenal and her husband, Wayne, who is just, he's cool as shit. So like Kim and Wayne were walking around and I, like we kept running into them. Um, I think we had lunch with or near them at one point. I think they were like the table next to us. Maybe, I don't know. Kim and Wayne are spectacular. Uh, and they also have a very good pupper dog. Um, and you know how much we love attention. Now you, you know how much we love our pupper dogs around these parts. Um, but like Kim's vibe is just, is very much like ours. Like kind of, kind of chill, kind of, kind of irreverent, you know, love a good puppers, uh, ever once again, know you. Reverse. Reverse. I have a button ever. I can press it all day. Um, yeah, that's right. I said it. And you, you are as wholesome as I am. Hilsey buddy. That's what we did all weekend. Um, let's see. We got coming up here. There's nudes. There's his. He was he was such a fucking delight. Uh, the last thing that I ended up doing with friends, aside from Hiltzy, of course, like the the last group thing that I did was Sunday night. We had sushi dinner, like all the gremlins did. Um, uh, so like uh, there was me, Hiltzy, um, Arrowus, MX Northwest. Um, Julia, uh, superb superbia, uh, who's in that group. I don't know if he streams, but I know he's in that nice try ever. You can't trick my bot. I wrote this bot. You can't. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He's the CEO, the owner, the lead developer. CE owner, the definer of MVP. I'm gonna come shit in your bathroom. Anyway, um, so uh, superb superbia was there. Um, let's see who else. Vi, violacious, Tay, and nudes. We were all there together. Oh yeah, that's that's the group photo. That's the one. Um, so this was the shot of all of us at dinner and this is like the last night together. So there's me, nudes, Tay, Vi, Superbia, Julia, Matt, Heather, Arrowus, and, uh, and Hiltzy right here. Um, like this was, this was how I capped off TwitchCon was just hanging out with just this group of folks. That was, uh, it was special. It was really, really fucking special. And I even had a fancy drink. I had a little fancy drink right there. They call it a, uh, a Coco Loco. It was basically a virgin pina colada. It was great. It was delicious. All pineapple and coconutty. I loved it. But yeah. Oh, they had asparagus wrapped in fucking ribeye, Tom. Oh. Yeah. And they had like a, they brought it out on this little plate. And so like, here come, they come out with this little plate and it's got like just these little pieces of asparagus wrapped inside a fucking ribeye. It was choice. It was delicious. So good. Face is delicious. Uh, I'll delicious your face. Listen, we're in Florida. Delicious faces is is a delicacy down here. Yeah, and yes, <laughs> just, just add a little bath salts and we're good. My God. Okay, the steak dinner the first night out. Hiltzy and I decided, you know what? We're here in Vegas. Let's splurge. Let's go do our one like fucking <clears throat> expensive dinner, right? So there's a steakhouse in our hotel. Mm, it looks good. 
it was like 180 fucking dollars by the time we were done each 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 right i think you posted them hilti i think i think you posted those in food porn the other day um i think so yeah 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 you you posted them the other day there yeah there they are there they are um that's fair uh so we got a we got an appetizer with like this triple thick cut bacon that they grilled so it's basically like these little like bacon steaks almost the bacon was incredible very 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 delicious um yeah oh yeah the bacon was absolutely the best part about it um that's not good but then we got uh wild boar bacon i don't think it was wild boar bacon no i think it was so it was it was some specific farm in wisconsin i think they said um but then the prefix menu you got an appetizer or you got like a starter not an appetizer you got a starter um and a 12 ounce portion of prime rib and yeah wild boar bacon is delicious i fucking love wild boar bacon uh a 12 ounce portion of prime rib and then a dessert so my prime rib was let's put it this way they talked about their 28 day wet aged steaks right um my prime rib that i make that sits in the fridge for a week was far more tender than this and frankly i think it had has better flavor in it maybe that's just me um don't get me wrong it was good but it wasn't great it wasn't what we paid for it great absolutely the fuck not um i got french onion soup french onion soup very good the french onion soup was very good um loved that um the bacon was extraordinary yeah that should definitely not be the best part of a 180 dollars steak dinner no no the like the the prime rib was it was good french onion soup is underrated absolutely god i love french onion soup they take soup and then they put bread on it and then they put fucking cheese over top of that what is not to love um so sometimes ever sometimes there is yes um well that's and that's fair hilti that's fair that's fair um but like the prime rib was okay and again if i'm paying a hundred dollars for a prefix menu $11 per bottle of fucking water. And then, you know, of course, the, the bacon appetizer on top of that. I would expect the, the prime rib to be closer to the quality that me, not a professional chef, makes at home. That's what I would expect. I don't know. It was, again, good, nowhere near worth the price. Now, the sushi restaurant that we had on Sunday, absolutely worth every fucking penny. The prime rib should be a prime deal. Beer was also 11, but it ended up being the cheapest alcoholic beverage you paid for all week. That's fair. That's fair. Well, you got a blue moon, though, so, you know. Although it wasn't a, it wasn't a, it wasn't a tall one either. It was like a, it was like a twelve ounce or something. The dessert. So we, we had one of two options. There was either like a bananas Foster thing, or a peach cobbler. Now, being from Georgia, and for those of you who don't know, Georgia is officially the peach state. This is what they do. Okay. One. Right, this was not a football. Uh huh. Crab cakes and football. Crab cakes and football. That's right. That's right. Maryland does. Oh my god. 
Um, being from Georgia, I have opinions on, on cobblers, especially peach cobbler, right? The peaches were, the peaches were bitter. Peaches should never be fucking bitter. Um, what's going on in their lives, but they should be for free. Millions of them get out. But like your butt is bitter all the time. That's that's a different kind of peach hidden. Definitely canned. Put there by a man with bitter hands. Yes. Peaches can be bitter. Apparently, Tay. Apparently they can. Apparently peaches can be bitter. Now, if you don't if you don't regularly eat peaches or you've never had a peach before, let me assure you, a peach when it is done like when it is properly ripened is not bitter it is almost all sweetness that's it peaches are just sweet they're delicious and sweet okay yeah they apparently had to fucking work to make these things bitter let me tell you let me fucking tell you um but it was it was not a cobbler it was like Peaches served over like a some kind of a little biscuity cake thing with a little tiny crumble over top. I'm not bitter, Zam, and I'm a peach. Uh, and then they had ice cream on the side, vanilla ice cream. The ice cream was the best part of the dessert. And it wasn't anything awesome. special. It was good awesome. ice cream. But, like, no, Zam, I'm not bitter. I'm not. I'm a peach baby. Boy, howdy. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, God. Listen, Tom, let me tell you. Would would we go to Vegas to go watch Robot Fight in Time? Okay? Let me tell you, this is the guy that we will avoid. He loved, this fucking server loved to talk to us. And it's like, my. even I am just sitting there thinking like, my dude, I am not here to have a conversation with you. I am here to put food into my food hole where food goes go away so i can put the food in my food hole without interruption oh he'll see yeah when we when we do robot fighting time i will absolutely let you know we're gonna do robot fighting time that's gonna be like i told tom i told bean and i told tom like i want to go back to vegas one and only one more time just one and i want to go back to do to go watch a taping of battle bots um, it was actually really cool. Um, let me see if I can get that picture. So the hotel that we stayed at, we stayed at the Horseshoe, uh, which is actually one of the stops on the monorail line, which was really cool. Um, and what? monorail, monorail, um, so let's see, there's the monorail. You know, just a little train. Lo love a love a good choo choo around these parts. Love a good little monorail. And then, where is there? It is. So, uh, we were actually like our hotel. the 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 monorail station attached to our hotel is literally right across. From like the battle bots, garage, and arena, and shit, like just absolutely wild. I thought that was really, really fucking cool. Like I took this picture from the monorail uh, platform. They do it year round now. I know they have like a whole thing. They have like a like, like not necessarily for TV, but but they do like battles like that. What do they call it? Like the Destructathon or whatever. I don't know. It's always something. Of yeah. The but yeah, the BattleBots like the BattleBots garage and stuff was like right across the street, which I thought was just so fucking cool. Like I I I had to take pictures and send Tom. I'm like, this is cool. Like that that we're this close. So um But yeah, um met a lot of people. Got to got to go to a con for the first time and hidden shut the fuck up. You're a nerd, you fucking nerd. Um, got to go uh, to a con for the first time in years.
got to see a bunch of people, see a bunch of friends in person, meet a bunch of new people. Um, yeah, would stay there again if the pool was opened. Yeah, our pool was closed the whole time. I took my swimmies. I took my swimmies and didn't even use them because it's like, well, you got to go to the pool across the the, uh, the our other hotel, like across the street. And I'm like, no, there's a pool here. Fix the fucking pool. Um, but uh, I had an absolute blast. Um, I'm glad to be back. Uh, I'm fully recovered. Like my feet, my feet killed at one point. Like, and I'm, you know, I'm not used to being in dry heat, like the desert. So like my one heel cracked, like cracked open. So that was, uh, that was not ideal, but I bandaged like it up. You needed, uh, the humidity. You know, yeah, I did. It's the humidity. It's, that's what, that's what gets you. Yeah. It's, it is the humidity that gets you. It's true. Um, but Bandaged up my little foot when I got home. You have a callus and now it has a hole in it. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, Hilsey's feet took a, uh, he took like his, uh, his Jesus sandals out there and he was having a time. I thankfully, I had my, uh, I had my flippies because I wear my flippies everywhere. And so like, uh, I saw Kim for the day. I saw her at one point and she looks and she's like, are you, wearing, she's like, you're wearing fucking flip flops out here. And I'm like, I'm like, no, no, you don't understand. And she looks at him. She's like, oh, those are keen flip flops. I'm like, yeah. She's like, never mind. I take it back. Um, bye, Hiltzy. Give Otter extra pets from me. Tell him I tell him I love him and um, that I hope he shits in the bathtub later. Um, I had so much fun hanging out with Hiltzy. Like. Okay, bye, Sam. Have fun with Hiltzy and Otter shitting in the bathtub. That makes it sound like Sam is going to shit in the bathtub, which honestly would not surprise me. One, not one it's, bit. It's possible. Yeah, I don't. That wouldn't surprise me. I would. I could see that happening, which is honestly just. Yep, yep. But yeah, um, TwitchCon was. It was exactly what I needed. I have been, y'all know I've been in, in a funk lately. Um, you know, just between leaving my job and, you know, losing Nova and just everything else going on. It's been a, uh, it's been not my favorite time. And I knew I needed TwitchCon. I did not realize how much i needed it until i got there and like started just absorbing all of that i desperately needed it and i'm very 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 glad that i went um and you know as much as it was amazing it wouldn't have been the same without hiltzy like me and hiltzy hanging out was just 14 out of 10 just fantastic times Love that I got to hang out with Hiltzy. Um We had the best time. And then hanging out with the, the makers folks and like all the makers and crafters and science and tech folks and going to the developer meetup and going to the trans community meetup and uh it was the best. It really was. I could not have had a better time if I had tried. Um, I didn't even talk about the party. It's fine. The party was at this place called Area 15. It's like this giant indoor venue with like a bunch of different shit in it. There was decent food. There were candy apples, which were delicious. Uh, and there were ribs and coleslaw and cornbread, which was also pretty good. They had an indoor zip line, which, <laughs> no. Um, they had like this acid trip exhibit. It was like um, called Wink World, which was like created by one of the founders of Blue Man Group. Uh, they had um, the Omega Mart, like the weird, like fake grocery store thing, which was kind of wild. Uh, I didn't go into that, but it was really, really like weird. Just, 
you know, it's it's like an it's it's one of those giant art installations, right? Um, but the, there's actual like fake products in there that you can buy and shit. So that was cool. <clears throat> yeah, Tay, I uh, I I needed I I yeah, yep, 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 for sure. Yeah, yeah, you could yeah, like this you could buy the stuff that was on the shelves in the Omega Mart. It's just like all this like weird off the wall, a lot of like social commentary kind of stuff, but it's all like in the form of like fake supermarket products. It was just really wild. And I had like this whole like scavenger hunt thing that you could do inside and shit. It was it's a really cool concept. I might do that next time I go out. Just there were so many people there and I didn't want to wait in line for it at that point. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I, um, it was great. It was great. And I'm so glad that I went and uh, they said it will not be in Vegas next year, which a lot of people did not like that it was in Vegas because, like, everything was too sprawled out and, like, over expensive because it's Vegas. And Vegas is, like, Vegas is, like, the original tourist trap. And, um, yeah, I'm sure it'll be back in California again next year because that's where it usually is somewhere in California because of where Twitch is located. Um, but yeah, that's, um, that was my trip to TwitchCon. And I really want to go again next year. And I'm going to, I'm going to shine Zam's head next year. Me and Zam will get matching tattoos. That'll be Archer. Huh? Seamus and Archer. Yes. Yes, <laughs> Zam will be Seamus. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, well, I think this is probably a great place to wrap it up. Um, I will be. I'll be here on probably on Sunday. Definitely on Tuesday. Um, and then after that, I might have a daytime stream here and there. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, but I will be out like Thursday through the following. Let me see. Let me see when I want to be back. Uh, <clears throat> next Thursday, I'm definitely out. Next Sunday, I'm definitely out. Uh, and then I might be out on Tuesday as well. Uh, so I might have another like next, next or this coming next, next the seventh. Um, but I will, I will be here this coming Tuesday, the 31st. Um, that'll be my last evening stream before I'm out for like that next week. Um, <laughs> so I know schedule's kind of wonky right now. Uh, just with everything going on between traveling for this and that and other stuff. So um, make sure that you are in the Discord so that you know what's going on. <gasps> hey, it did it. It did it on its own. I didn't think it would do it on its own. <coughs> oh, I guess it's Friday and it knows I'm streaming. I didn't think of that. Done, well done, me. Um, <clears throat> so probably back on Sunday, definitely back, um, this coming Tuesday, the 31st, and then I'll be gone for a week, um, cause we're doing stuff for Bean's birthday. So, <coughs> excuse me. <clears> throat's getting a little dry. Um, I think that's about it. Um. Don't forget, we're still doing our fundraiser for Trans Lifeline. We're over 4,500. Like, we have, we are over 90% of the way to our goal, which is incredible. <clears throat> Thank you to everyone who gave 
um, who has given so far. This means the world to me, um, because you know we're doing it for a very, very special reason. (coughs) Good gravy, I'm so sorry. Breathe, buddy. No, it's just my, my throat's drying out. And so... Emily, thank you for another fifty dollars that puts us at forty-five, fifty-five, sixty-nine. All right, I'm gonna get out of here because, like, this, this is just <clears throat> man. That's just oh, uh, all right. Um, it repeats and it's nice. It's true. It's true. Uh, all right, let's see. Who are we gonna go see? Um, (gasps) wait, is Kim streaming? Is Kim streaming? Holy shit. Oh yeah, she is. She absolutely is. All right, we're going to go see Kim for the day. Uh, we're going to go see her, um, show her lots of love. She's, she's fucking spectacular. Like... Again, if you like the vibe that we have here, you're going to fucking love hanging out with Kim. She is great. <clears throat> All right, let's go raid her. Raid messages are up there for both subs and non-subs. Uh, hey, thank you all again for hanging out. Uh, glad to be back from TwitchCon. So glad that I went. Uh, thank you again to um, all the great friends that I got to meet, both um, existing and new friends. Um, I will see you maybe on Sunday, definitely first of the week, Monday or Tuesday sometime. Um, and then we'll figure out what we're doing from there. I do have some stuff that I want to start talking about with like, uh, updates to the channel and shit like that. Um, I've got some stuff that I'm working on, just some refinements. I think it's like, I think it's time for like our 3.0 version of stuff. So we'll, we'll see how that goes, but Hey, thank you all again for hanging out. It means the world to me. Uh, Please remember, as always, be good to yourselves, be good to each other, and um, I'll see you soon. Bye. Penis.